These two bigs bring so much to their respective teams. Yeah, and, and remember when people thought centers were going extinct? Look around the league. There, there's so much talent at that position, including the two guys we get to watch here tonight. Now a look at Philadelphia's starting lineup. The pairing up front is Harris and Embiid. Axie out there with Lowry, and it's Oubre in at the three spot. And Miami has possession after the missed three from Tyrese Maxey. Here's Rozier. Hammers it down right over the deep. And giving up some inches inside, but makes up for it with an aggressive style. Yeah, the big man not going to slow him down from getting that deuce. Maxey with it. Now defended by Adebayo. Philadelphia moving the ball around. MB wide open. No good from outside. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. Here's Jovic, guarded by Harris. Hero from long range. Hits it from three-point range. That's a go-to shot for Tyler Hero. So confident in his ability to connect from deep. Offensive rebound. That one is good from Joel Embiid. And off the schneid here. One of five, but that's a big one. And Rozier, here we go. Here's Jovic, guarded by Harris. Takes it inside, and a strong finish with two hands. Not the kind of aggressive defense they need to cut into the lead. Yeah, you have to protect the rim, Greg, a little better. Good job to recognize the opportunity. That's just very solid offense. Now, here's Maxi. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Well, he's a capable shooter, but I like the initiative there from Tobias, taking it inside, forcing the defense back, and drawing contact. And Harris drops them both. Well, a great player on a great roll at the charity stripe. The D has got to be careful about being too aggressive on him and sending him back for freebies. Now, here's Rogier. Here's Butler. That's good, and it's Rogier with the assist. And early on, they've been nearly perfect from the floor. Just the one miss here on their first five attempts. And here's Harris from the arc. It's rebounded by Jovic. Miami's on one or two from long range in the first quarter. Adebayo kicks to Rogier. to Adebayo. And Adebayo throws it down. And once Rozier spots that hole in the defense, he just doesn't hesitate. Just sends the ball to an open shooter. Now here's MB. Here he goes. Pass to Lowry. Another miss by Philadelphia. A heat leading by seven. Adebayo drives in. And Adebayo throws it down. All the way Adebayo sees a crease and exploits it. Here's Maxi. Gets the three-pointer to fall. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. Now, here's Rozier. And that one is stuffed right through. For Rozier to be effective, that's just what he has to do. Keep moving. Don't sit back and be passive. Yeah, here's a list of things I don't want to do, and right at the top is guard that guy. And here is Butler. After Tobias Harris getting his shot to go from deep. And that's 10 straight points in the paint. The defense, nowhere to be found. Let's the free fly. That's good, and it's Rogier with the assist. Rogier's got three assists tonight. And their offense already in a flow. Some stellar shooting to jump out to this league. Three-pointer by Embiid. Falls through. He's now made two of four. Nice answer back there. Love to see the competitors. Yeah, both teams finding ways to the three-point line and trying to take advantage from distance. Now, here's Rogier. Adebayo passes to Hero. Over Maxi. Again, the Heat, good for two. And the defense knows that Hero can get that jumper working from just about anywhere. Lowry against Rogier. And it's Lowry penetrating, and the layup falls. Well, that's how you draw it up right there. A screen to shed the defense, 
a quick move to the bucket and you get the lay in. Oubre against Butler. He makes another one. That's four up and four in to start his game. Not a lot of resistance on the inside, and they're taking full advantage. Maxi looking it over. They get it back, and Bede kicks the loan. Oubre outside. And Bede from outside. And the last shot at the buzzer doesn't go in for him. And so it's the Miami Heat ahead by... And welcome back to the second quarter of action. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. And guys, what do you think about the offensive approach so far that we've seen for the Heat? Uh, they've been so aggressive, going strong at the defense, looking to score off of that penetration. Well, whether the defense is inviting these shots or not, they've been great in the mid-range. And so producing from there, that bodes well. So with Butler sitting on the bench, this is who Eric Spolstra has on the floor. They've got Bryant. DeWan Wright is out there with Duncan Robinson. And it's Hawkes in at the small forward position. And Bryant kicks to Robinson. Shot clock at five. Watch again. Uh, the main weapon in Bamba's attack, the slender long arms he possesses, helps him block lots of shots. Miami with the ball. The three is good, and he got fouled in the act of shooting. This could turn into a four-point play. One shot. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. That one misses for Robinson. You know, Brent, I've got to ask, now that the age of college basketball dynasties is more or less over, do you miss it? Yeah, I don't know so much if I've ever thought about it, Kevin, as dynasties, just so much as powerhouse teams that every year you see we're competing at the highest level in the NCAA tournament. So, not really. I love the open competition, and I love that players have a choice now to where it is that they can control where they're going to make the biggest contributions collegiately. And they need those kind of plays right now. Smart defense that generates some hope. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David? Thank you, Kevin. For the Sixers, it's championship or bust. Joel Embiid said there's nothing to be happy about just getting to the conference finals or the finals. you got to win the whole thing. That's the goal. And every single day, it's just trying to find ways to make that happen. Back to you. Yep, all or nothing. David, thank you. Hakez with the buck. Here's Melton. Bamba passes to Melton. And Wright pulls it down. And battling hard on the glass, they hold the advantage here so far. Smith shot is off. Yeah, better than giving up the layup, you want to go in there and use the hard foul. They did it there. That's aggressive attitude defensively. Floats one up, and the layup is up and in. And now an 11-point Miami lead. Always fun to look at. Not tremendously efficient, but the floater, boy, those sure are pretty. Let's zoom. Back to Melton. Jump to finish it off. Ah, beauty. Oh, that's a major league throwdown. Keeps a tight grip on that rim, too, after the finish. And here's Bryant outside. And again, Miami with the triple. And Bryant with some quickness on that release to get rid of it. Pass to Melton. The offensive rebound. Outside, Martin. Batuma screen on right. Martin wide open. He fires off the mark there with the three-point shot. Hawkins the best to Bryant. And finish off by Bryant. And Bryant getting ahead of the pack. The 76ers trail by 14. Healed from outside. It's rebounded by Bryant. Bryant's got his fourth rebound in this one. Here's Hawkins. Covered by Mark. And now let's have a look at the teams that were last year's best from the free throw line. The 76ers number one. 
the Heat in second. You're not going to find many teams that were as polished from the free throw line as these two clubs a season ago. And the 76ers with a completely new group now. And the NBA, Brent, doing away with positions for the votes for all NBA teams. We could see some interesting all NBA teams now, though, with that in mind. Yeah, no doubt about it, Kevin, especially in a game that is dominated by wings and guards because of player movement and three-point shooting. But I, I love it. You're rewarding the guys who have had phenomenal seasons and are deserving of that kind of recognition. Here's Hawkins driving inside. Hero against Maxi. Just five to shoot. A three ball. And Adebayo with the basket on the assist from Hero. Adebayo's got seven points in the game. Hero knowing about the wins and the wares for an assist. Here's Harris and slam dunk by Harris. And didn't do anything fancy there, but didn't need to. Nope, he, his only concern right now is getting the points on the board. I, I don't mean style points. Butler, he's checked in for Miami. And here's Rozier. He brings it up for the Heat. They faced off right here last time they met, but the home club just couldn't pull out the win. Yeah, you, you could see they were pressing in that one, and the shooting percentages dipped because of it. Now, I'll say anytime you're having trouble getting over that 40% field goal mark, it's probably not going to be your night. Uh, I'm willing to let up, even for a moment, that's his killer instinct, just fanning the flames. He's the guy that you want to go to right now trying to put this one away. Yeah, Oubre can get up. How about that one? Rozier finds Butler. Man, that's, it's close, but, you know, didn't get on balance quick enough. The Heat have made two of their previous three free throws in today's game. And they're really getting more points at the free throw line here in the second quarter. And so he makes both from the line. When you think of Jimmy Butler, his work ethic comes to mind. Notably how hungry he is to win at all costs. Yep, that one goes in there. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. Well, he leading by 14. Adebayo high post. And Beebs there. Jovic passes to Rozier. And here is Hero. He's covered by Maxi. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Well, that mid-range, Jay, usually pretty much on the money. Maybe the timing just a little bit off on that one. And they're beginning to just flat-out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Hero from long range. It's hauled in by Harris. Inside. And so it's the Miami Heat enjoying a 12-point lead as they talk things over during the break. What a night they've had in terms of their shooting. Everything dropping in for them. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. What's that old joke? I mean, these guys couldn't hit the water if they fell out of a boat. It applies here. They've been... And now let's take a moment. Thank you for being with us. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. We are seeing a tremendous game from Jimmy Butler. And guys, we saw just how tough he can be with the step to the rim. Great job of just attacking that first half. Yeah, nice job of carving his way to the inside with some ease. Not much resistance out there. And on the floor for Nick Nurse as we get into the second half. The pairing up front is Harris and Embiid. Actually out there with Lowry, and it's Oubre in at the three, the small forward. Now, Hero. Some nice ball movement here by the Heat. Yep, it counts. Nine points for Bam Adebayo. Just a great setup there. You can see how Jimmy Butler enjoys making plays. And stolen by Butler. Rozier for three. Here's Jovic. The kick outside to Butler. And now Philadelphia on the break. And Maxi gets it to go on the assist by Harris. Maxi's got his third bucket of the night. 
Butler passes to Hero. The kick outside to Butler. It's hauled in by the 76ers. And Beach got his fifth rebound right now in the game. No one near Maxi as he lets it fly. And the 76ers tack on two more. Disappointing as a player to have such a great game and still be trailing. Not over yet, though. Here's Jovic, guarded by Harris. Outside Butler, six to shoot, shot from the wing, and the basket good, a bank shot that time. Butler's got 15. This looks like he's got more feel tonight, like he's really got a good grip on that ball as he's letting it go. Embiid off the bounce, and Embiid throws it down. And how about Embiid putting the versatility on full display? How many other bigs can do that? And the latest now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Thank you, Kevin. Tyrese Maxey's 6 a.m. workouts give him an edge. His motto, I prepare in front of nobody to perform in front of thousands. He says he's done three workouts before someone else even opens their eyes to prepare the workout. He said, I feel like that creates a psychological advantage when I step on the court. I have no reason to fear anybody. Kevin? No reason at all. Hey, thanks, DA. I think a lot of teams around the league are looking for this kind of player and this kind of versatility that Kelly Oubre shows off. And right now his teammates are feeding off that toughness. And Miami going with a whole new group out there. And the 76ers will go for a different look here. Bamba is checked in for Joel Embiid. Batum comes in for Harris. Buddy Heald is checked in for Maxi, And it's DeAnthony Melton in for Kyle Lowry. Here's Jaquez. And Bamba pulls it down. I think he rushed that one just a little bit, thinking the defense was going to get close. They weren't. Heal and easy two points on the layup. Five points in the game. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting it in the paint and continue to score consistently. And it's right missing. Here's Philadelphia. Big run right now going for him, 11-2. Yep, it goes in, and the Miami lead is cut down now to just five on the basket from Batum. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Robinson, that's good. And they just refuse to go away and really have slowly worked themselves back into the game. Bamba sets a screen. Healed the pass to Bamba. Terrific assist. A nice finish. Solid play all around. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Looking now at the numbers for Wright. Last season's performance for him. Last year averaged seven points a game. Four assists and three rebounds. And he's done his share of the work for the team. Definitely making an impact. Well, the numbers, if you look at them, impressive all the way around. And he's not letting the team down. Martin, he's checked in for Oubre. Yeah, and note there, there's glimpses of better all-around play from Duncan Robinson. He gets paid to stretch the floor, and he does it well. Batum attacking, misses from close range. Anzo Bryant will bring it up for Miami. At one point, they led by 16. A wide-open look here for Wright. Gets it to go from beyond the other. Wright's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. And that'll be Philadelphia as it goes out of bounds. 76ers retain possession. Fifty-four seconds left in the third quarter. Healed with it. Robinson picks him up, and then healed with the dunk. Well, nice to see healed on the runway right there, taking flight. And right here we go. Missed inside. He's so good at getting to the rim. Maybe tries to get a little bit too cute with that one. I thought he'd lay it straight up and in. They worked hard to get this lead. Can't start giving up easy slams all of a sudden. Yeah, GA, that's right. And that was easy. Gift wrap for him. Yeah, we see this all too often. The team gets a huge lead, and then their guard gets let down. Here's Jaquez. 76ers getting the bucket. Just five on the clock. Passes to Bryant. They shoot again. And the Heat get another bucket right there. And Thomas Bryant has always been a guy who shoots 
fairly impressive percentage from the floor. He plays to his strength. Here's right. Oh, and the buzzer beater's good. One eye on the rim, one eye on the clock. Nice job. Yeah, it's almost like he's playing with a wristwatch there. He knew the time, he executed. And so it's Miami. Now let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. And he sliced the bead wide open with this feed. They had no chance to prevent that basketball. And that's what great passing will do for you right there, dissecting the defense with that play. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same from the first three quarters. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Hey, guys. During the last time out, I listened to Nick Nurse talk to his team. His emphasis was for more effort on the defensive end. He said, we have to do a better job of communicating and helping each other out. They're getting too many easy looks. Let's make it hard on them. Kevin, they're going to have to if they're going to slow down the hot shooting of their opponent. Thanks, David. The wingman, it's Hero and Butler. Then there's Terry Rozier. Then it's Bam Adebayo. And it's Jovic in at the power forward position. That's the group on the floor for Miami. And that one drops for him. And it's nine points for Joel Embiid. Oubre will draw some attention as a scorer, but that's going to open up some passing lanes. And he doesn't make a mistake that time. Here's against Rogier. Here's Butler. That's good. And it's Rogier with the assist. Rogier's got five assists in the game. The 76ers trail by 11. Here's Maxi. His three pointers off the mark. Yeah, the three pointer has not been his weapon in this one. He had one in the first quarter and still zero here in the second. And they go to the intentional foul. Really no idea why you're fouling in a situation like that. You know, maybe there's some bad blood between those two. Fires for three. Well, he's a bit of a tweener defensively, but uh, I like the effort there from Tobias. There's Hero with a three. Yeah, still struggling to find the bottom of the net from three-point range this half. They were much better in the first. And a moment now to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from time out, time for out. Miami. And guys, how about the unselfishness and all about working that ball around, shifting the defense, and just seeking out the best shot? Well, the three-point shot has been absolutely huge for them this entire game. And let's be honest, you have to knock down threes to win games these days. But he healed. He's checked in for the 76ers. De'Anthony Melton comes in for Kyle Lowry. Three-pointer heel. Out to Harris. Healed sets the pick for Harris. In the corner, it's healed. Krill's the three-pointer. Heald's got nine points now in just the second half. Now he's put on a shooting display here in the second half. He really seems to be in a great groove right now. And the call will be against Harris. That's his first foul. First team foul. Second team foul. And it's the Heat with the ball. At one point, they led by 16. Adebayo with a screen for Hero. Shot clock at six. Here's Butler. And it's off the back rim. No good. Right thing there to stay that tight on him and, and really try to keep him out of his comfort zone. And with that, the Heat lead is cut down now to just four in the basket from Heel. Right wing. Back to Rozier. No one near Adebayo as he lets it go. That's good, and it's Rozier with the assist. Rozier's got his sixth assist on the night, and it's out of bounds. The Heat will take it the other way. And we have to take another glance at that powerful rejection. And, and guys, they'll think twice about attempting that shot again. That was a big-time rejection. Miami leading by six. To the paint, intercepted. On the wing, heel. Another three for Philadelphia. Well, Heald has been in these spots before and soaking up the moment here. Rozier kicks to Adebayo. Hero passes to Adebayo. Butler against Heald. 
five to shoot. And Butler gets it to go. Butler's got 19 points. Man, no question. Jimmy Butler all the way. Healed outside. Falls right in. He is eight for 11 with that shot. And, and won't find many more games as entertaining as this one. No, this is about as high octane a game as you're going to find. The kick outside to Butler. We've got 123 left to play here on the fourth. Hero finds Rozier. And he goes up strong with one hand and flushes it down. Well, a great sign of how confident Rozier is. He wants to be the leader, and you need your leader to come through with buckets like that. Heel up and in on the way. Heel's got 13 points in just this quarter. That's the guy you don't want shooting. How about Heel coming up big? Adebayo passes to Rozier from outside the arc. And here's the break to tie it up. That seemed no good. And even though he didn't get a piece of that shot, you love the pressure he puts on the shooter. Yeah, that's the kind of energy that you want to see on every possession throughout the game. Adebayo with the bucket. And this is a huge step showing trust in Bam's play in the biggest moments. Here's Maxi. Yes! Making the most of the screen. That's how it's done. And it's in the perfect spot, Greg. Frees him up to get all the way to the bucket. Really not enough help there. Lack of communication on the backside. Oh, and the jam by Butler. They're in total command of this game with time starting to run out. Yeah, looking for a miracle worker out there is the opposing coaching staff. I don't know that they have one. This game seems to be well in hand. Here's Jovic. And so it's...
but game one of the regular season is always a little extra special, Grant. Yeah, no question about it. This is a game everyone looks forward to to start the season off on the right foot. I can't tell you how huge it is for a team's confidence to get a win on opening night, but it's definitely one everyone is looking forward to. A look at the 76ers starting group. Harrison and Bede are in the middle. Kyle Lowry out there with Maxi, And it's Oubre in at the three, the small forward. And the basket is good. We've seen that from Lowry for a long time. A fantastic passer of the basketball. Davis with a screen on Lowry. Russell from deep three-point land. And Joel Embiid pulls it down. Now Philadelphia with it. Lowry, the pass to Harris. And that comes off the assist by Lowry. And you've got to give it to Harris. Able to make subtle adjustments under defensive pressure. Here's Russell. Soft touch off the glass. Just taking it right to the rim. And no one was there to greet him. Wow, that's a defensive breakdown. Can't do that against good scores. And this summer, the Sixers making changes on the bench. Grant, the mission statement is clear. Make it past the conference semifinals. Oh, so clear, B.A. And while that's been the stumbling block in recent years, I'm not sure even that's good enough. This is a team with legitimate championship aspirations. High offensive IQ. He makes great reads and adjustments on the fly. Pass to Embiid. Fires the three. Oubre. The second chance points on the tip in. They have really found a rhythm here early. Four for five to start this game. Russell against Lowry. James is screen on Lowry. Now here's Davis. Oh, almost had a four-point play right there. But he'll go to the line with a chance for three. That's on Joel Embiid. Physical gifts Anthony Davis possessed are just undeniable. He was built to cause havoc down low with his long arms and broad build. And he can't make it three for three. Pass to Reeves. Goes back up. Again, the Lakers. Beautiful vision and awareness there from Anthony Davis to find the open man for the score. Embiid with it. Stolen by Davis. Now James. Hachimura outside. Back to James. Launches a three. Nails it from beyond the arc. Tough to be that consistent from range. For that long, LeBron defying the odds. Pass to Harris. And here's Embiid. Can they get it? That falls. Nice setup by Harris. I love this approach. Getting him involved early, and it's already paying off. It makes sense, right? You're trying to get off to a fast start, and he can help with that. Now here's Russell. And another three for the Lakers. Yeah, in the pick and roll, you have to account for Russell. He's looking to score. Harris finds him beat. Oubre with it. The kick out to Maxi. Achimura with a rebound. Los Angeles has gone two for three from outside the arc. And on both sides of the ball, Rui Hachimura plays with great aggression. Grant, he embraces that part of his game. You can't ignore the physicality that he plays with. Rui is at his best when he's playing bully ball. The Lakers have got six of eight shots to go. Oh, what a performance offensively. <laughs> They're really rolling at that end. Excellent game plan. This defense just can't stay connected to shooters. Now here's Harris. Screen by Embiid. To the paint. And then Embiid with the dunk. At seven feet tall, Embiid looks to dunk often, especially when he's got good positioning. Outside Davis. Puts up a three. Here's James. It's blocked. It deflects off the backboard. From the high post. Yes, it's good. Los Angeles has gone three for five from deep so far in this matchup. Hachimura against Ubre. Hachimura, the pass to Davis. 
Shakes off strong D and gets to the bucket for two points. And <laughs> their offense looking like a well-oiled machine. Six second difference between the shot clock and game clock. For three, Maxi. Oh, he nails that one. Three for four now. We've got 22 seconds left in the first quarter here. Pass to Reeves. James, a screen on Maxi. And here's Davis. Uses the glass on the layup. Davis has got six. A full arsenal of moves inside. AD always has a way to beat you. And you like the balance here. Not just falling in love with the three ball. It could go. Oh, no good on the last second attempt there. The baskets were coming early and often. If you're just joining us, we played through one quarter in this one. All right, guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for the Lakers? Well, in my opinion, the way the three has been falling for them here early on, you have to think they'll keep firing away. And, of course, taking it inside, always a great game plan. And I'm curious if there'll be an adjustment from the defensive end. Maybe sag off some shooters a little. Jared Vanderbilt out there with Torian Prince. Then there's Christian Wood. Then it's Gabe Vincent. And it's Denwitty in a shooting guard. That's the Laker five. And some analysts have lamented the quote-unquote protected guys. Every bump, they go to the free throw line. Does that bother you, Smitty? Yeah, it would have bothered me more if I had to guard them. The league has made it clear they want the rules evenly applied. Star treatment should not extend to the officiating. A moment to hear from Allie LaForce. Hey, Brian. Philly fans, they're known for their passion. And Tyrese Maxey said, I love them because they're real. They're honest and they're tough. They know the game, they know what they're talking about, and they know what players are getting out of it. They care about winning, and that's what I care about. Brian? Yeah, such a great sports city, too. Allie, thank you. Now here's Dinwiddie in his last outing with 12 points. Three-pointer. The rebound by Bamba. Philadelphia has gone one of two from deep in the second quarter. Ball stolen. Wood passes to Dinwiddie. Overheeled. And there's Dinwiddie. That one's good. On the assist by Wood. Finding his teammate. Great awareness by Wood. Pass to Martin. Here he goes. Melton outside. To the middle. Here's Batum. Rebound. The Lakers. He goes up strong, but he is met with resistance. I think that surprised him a little bit. And he was. And here comes the coach's challenge. He disagrees with the foul. He does not hesitate to ask for a second look. It's a pretty heated game. Every call matters. <laughs> and even with the coach's challenge in place, we've seen so many of these personal foul calls still. Dis the previous play is under the. Oh, there's going to be a gray area in a lot of these calls. But at least we have the option to take a second look so the officials can be sure they get it right. After review, the ruling on the floor stands. And they've made their decision. The call will stand. And as much as it hurts to lose a challenge, I think Coach would challenge that call again if he could. He really disagreed with the foul, and he's still peeved. Let's hear it for you. And he drops the first. That's also good, so he hits both free throws. The 76ers have gotten only one of four shots to go in, and it's Batum penetrating, and he makes it on the layup. Carving up the D in style. Love with Batum takes charge and finds a lane to the rim. From deep, count it for Vincent, and the Lakers lead by six. Rock solid screed right there. The defender got completely lost. Hey, if you're not going to fight over, you're essentially giving the shooter the look he wants. Now here's Melton. No points so far. Bamba misses. I know that he has the ability and confidence to sink that shot. <laughs> but better luck next time, maybe. You know what another option is? Just give the ball up. Let someone else make a play. Here's Vanderbilt. Here's Vincent. Oh, it's blocked by Bamba. 
to the inside. Powered down after the assist led him to the lane. All right. Batum still has some hops left in those legs. And here's Dinwiddie. He'll bring it up for Los Angeles. Four-point game. From outside the arc. It's hauled in by the Sixers. They're running. From deep, Melton. And he buries his first look. More than just a score. Heald moves the ball well, especially when his guys are open. And there's a whistle. That goes on DeAnthony Melton. That's his first foul of the game. Second team foul. Here's Dinwiddie. Pass to Wood. And Wood with the stuff. At six foot ten, dunking is effortless for Wood, especially when he's given this type of positioning. Melton passes to Martin. Batum against Prince. And stolen by Vanderbilt. Fast break. Here come the Lakers. The three from Wood. Tipped away. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Sixers. I'm not sure what happened there. You just can't give away possessions in this league. And just over three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Batum with a screen on Dinwiddie. Batum outside. Shoots over Dinwiddie. And misses it off the right side of the rim. And even with the miss, that's a high percentage shot for him. And Vanderbilt slams it in. One sign of a great playmaker hitting his man in stride. The tomb finds heel. The three is up. Buries it from three. Heald's got his first three points of the game. They're having more success with the three-point shot here in the second quarter as they try to cut into this lead. Pass to Wood. The three ball. Knocks down the long game. Exchanging buckets from downtown. That's been a staple of tonight's game. Hey, players love competition. And the fans love it as well. Stolen by Dinwiddie. And it's the Lakers on the break. He launches a three. And the Lakers hit again from deep. Coming off a scoreless first quarter, he's found a little rhythm here. Martin. Wood grabs the board. That's the shot you hope for. Right at the rim. Just couldn't capitalize. Dinwiddie outside. Beyond the arc. And it's Martin with the rebound. Heel fires from way outside. And that's not going to go. And so that's the end of the first half. The Lakers on top. They're up by eight. And join us right back here after the break for the start of the second half. Well, they aren't getting a hand up on the shooters, and the numbers show it, Shaq. Guys are too good in this league to give them easy looks. It and switching things. Thanks, as always. And if you just join it in, one half is in the books. One half to go. Without question, Tyrese Maxey displaying all his skills today. I like how they control the tempo and play to his strengths. And many of those quality shots have been jumpers. A very high percentage of those in the first half. Second half underway. Here's who Nick Nurse has got on the floor. Harrison and Embiid are in the middle. Maxey out there with Kyle Lowry. And it's Oubre in at the three slot. The Sixers trailing. Pass break, Philadelphia. It's stolen by James. Here's Davis. And finished off by Davis. Incredible anticipation. By LeBron. Kick starts the break. Embiid passes to Maxi. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. It's going to be on Anthony Davis. I don't mind that. I mean, they met him at the rim and temporarily prevented the points. Both free throws good from Maxi. We've seen him put a lot of pressure on the defense and then cash in at the line. 
LeBron gets the bucket inside. They just look so overwhelmed inside. That's why they continue to get attacked. Lowry finds Oubre. Back to Lowry. Knocked loose. Hachimura against Oubre. And out of bounds. Los Angeles will have it. Look at it last year. Here were the players that led the way in terms of overall scoring. Joel Embiid on top. For him, it was a season to remember. And I think his fans would say the same. The Lakers have got two of three from the floor in this third quarter. Davis against Embiid. Here's Hachimura. Again, the Lakers. Three out of four coming out of the half. Showing good execution on the offensive end. Harris drives in. And Harris throws it down. Beautiful handles by Tobias Harris. A tough cover off the dribble. Here's Reeves. Maxi covering from deep three-point land. The shot by Reeves, no good. And so it's Embiid who brings up the ball for Philadelphia. Trailing by 10. And there's the slam! Dunk to finish it off. This is where Tobias has really improved. Keeping his eyes up, making plays for others. Russell. And that one drops for him. Russell's got seven points. And I respect the strategy. Despite the sizable lead, you got to stay in attack mode. You want to stay aggressive. Right at the rim. Driving another nail into the coffin. Now here's Lowry. The kick out to Maxi. Six on the shot clock. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. All right, a quick look now at how the point totals have looked over the last few months for Kelly Oubre. He's been on a tear offensively these past few months, and you know how much they love the extra points he provides. He's been shouldering a bigger load recently, and I think he's just getting started. Los Angeles has gone 6 for 12 from deep so far in this game. And Davis slams it home. Watch out and watch your head when AD goes up. Oubre finds him deep. Back to Oubre. Harris with it. Check by James. Oubre passes to Lowry. And another miss by Philadelphia. Stolen by Lowry. Fast break, Philadelphia. Here's Oubre. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. It all started with Lowry Steele. His ability to lock in and defend makes him special. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. And it's a completely new group for the Lakers. One fifty-six left in the third. The three from Wood. They grab their own miss. Back to Vanderbilt. Shot clock at six. Bamba against Dinwiddie. Beats the shot clock, but can't get it to fall. Philadelphia has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. The three is up. Martin with the bucket. To stretch out the defense, you just need enough guys on the floor who can make that shot. The three from Wood. And the basket's good. Off the assist from Dinwiddie. Dinwiddie's got three assists tonight. And both teams running long-range plays that are working. How often do we see this these days? Clubs answering each other from range. Vanderbilt, a screen on Melton. Vincent, the three-pointer off the mark. Philadelphia is gone. Only one of three from deep here in the third. Martin finds Bamba. Another three for Philadelphia. As a big, unless you're a dedicated rim runner, have to be some kind of threat from distance. Vanderbilt, a screen on Melton. Here's Vincent. Trying to come right back with a three of his own, but it's no good. Wow, potent offense. It's been fun to watch. <laughs> Just aggressive and effective. Taking it right to the defense. Kicks it out to Dinwiddie. Pass to Vincent. And stolen by Melton. Batum with it. And Dinwiddie picks him up defensively. From deep, Melton. With the second effort. Martin, the pass to Batum. Tries again. 
And that's two points on the layup. Batum's gotten four this quarter. Nicholas Batum still possesses strength to fight through and get the bucket. Here's Wood. And it's good. But hang on here. The officials may want to take a look at it on the replay monitor. The previous play is over. Check that shot again and make sure they got it right before we go to the fourth. While this call may not decide the game, you always prefer to get it right. The ruling on the floor is confirmed. And the ruling is in. The call stands. No bucket. So, And at the close of the third quarter, still a close game. Both teams putting up points in a hurry. Lakers ahead, up by one. And we're coming right back after this break to get the fourth quarter started. And with three quarters behind us, we'll start the fourth in what is still anybody's ball game. Torian Prince is out there with Jared Vanderbilt. Then it's Gabe Vincent. Then there's Christian Wood. And it's Dinwiddie in at the two. That's who's in the game for the Lakers. Woo-wee! What a big finish out of the backcourt. That might be exactly what they needed at this point of the game. It's a tight contest. Those type of plays can fire up your team and swing momentum. And the 76ers going with a whole new group out there. Let's check in with our reporter, Ali LaForce. I was able to listen in on what Nick Nurse had to say to the team. And he was adamant that they need to tighten up their D. That lack of communication at that end has led to breakdowns, wide open shooters, and easy buckets. He sounded pretty frustrated, guys. Okay, thanks, Ali. And so it's Russell with it. He brings it up for Los Angeles. They held a 12-point lead earlier. This offensive bag goes very deep. AD is so effective on that end. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. Melton, he's checked in for Lowry. Russell from deep three-point land. The Lakers with another miss. The Sixers trailing. And here's Melton. Rebound, Anthony Davis. And we played through about a minute here in the fourth. Here's James. Oh, oh, oh wow! He went oh, my way up. Goodness. And this is how you fire up your teammates. LeBron with a 10 on that one. Outside Oubre. Harris, a screen on Achimura. Oubre into the lane. And he banks in the layup. In a tight one like this, you have to trust in his ability. Davis with a screen on Melton. Inside. And finished off by Davis. Business-like focus. AD presents a big target on the roll. Bucket. Out to Harris. Back to Embiid. Oh, Embiid with the flush. Well, if you came here looking for a scoring battle, I think you made the right choice. Yeah, both teams trying to close out strong. These are the fireworks that fans came to see. Back to James. Double team on James. Here's Reeves. Drills it from deep. And the Lakers lead by eight. Such an intelligent playmaker. LeBron spots the openings and exploits them. Out left to the wing. Russell to pass to James. Hachimura, right side. Man, he made sure to get his money's worth on that back. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for Los Angeles. They've been lights out from three-point land in this one. The defense hasn't been effective at stopping them, so they have just stuck with the game plan. And also, attacking in transition has been working for them. I mean, we credit them for running the break well and being opportunistic. Maxi finds Embiid. Outside Oubre. Harris passes to Oubre. Harris a screen. Just five to shoot. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. It's on LeBron James. First one falls for him. At the line for the 76ers. So Oubre nails them both. 
And we're about three minutes into the fourth now. Here's Reeves. He's covered by Oubre. And again, the Lakers, no good. Knocks it loose. Stolen by Davis. Pass to Russell. From behind the arc. Gets the three ball to go. A volume three-point shooter. The coaching staff encourages Russell to fire away. Harris. Rejected by James. And that'll be Philadelphia's ball as it goes out of bounds. Sixers able to keep the possession. 144 left to play in the fourth quarter. And Maxi, here we go. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Beautiful call that time up the floor. The hard screen frees him up for the bunny. Here's Davis. That falls. Nice assist by Russell. Russell's got five assists tonight. The ability of Davis to hit from there really makes the defender pick a spot to guard him. Nice deflection there. Really trying to disrupt their offensive flow. This is called an effort play. Terrific hustle at the defensive end. And that's how you defend. Glad we had a chance to see a replay of that block again. Yeah, good offense comes from great defense. This lead is only getting stronger with plays like that. And Philadelphia calls time here. They're losing by 10. We've got 128 left in the fourth quarter here. Some changes here for the 76ers. Bamba comes in for Harris. And Heald is subbed in for Oubre. Over three and a half minutes through the final quarter now. Heald passes to Bamba. And Davis with the block. The nasty streak is coming out for Anthony Davis. Taking pride on the defensive end. Russell deciding where to go with it. Three-pointer, no good. <laughs> That's exactly how you have to defend him on the perimeter. Can't allow any space. Here's Embiid. Look at Embiid with the skilled finish. The control and focus from Embiid. Able to absorb hits from the defense and still finish. Here's Reeves. Melton covers. Pass to James. Here's Russell. James, a screen on Maxi. Outside for Davis. Six to shoot. Gets the three to fall. Impressive job by this team. And you really can't discount the impact of this crowd here. They gave the team tremendous energy tonight. The fans were fantastic. It was a true home court advantage. Melton passes to Embiid. From the arc. The Lakers with a rebound. Outside Russell. And there's a whistle. That goes on DeAnthony Melton. That'll be a second foul of the game. Second team foul. Here's Reeves. So we see the...
Tom, it's just so great, Clark, to be here with you. How excited are you? No more off-season talk, guys. I mean, finally, we get to play for real. Some games that count. Let's go. Like me, on Christmas morning, I am excited. So here's Miami's starting group. The wingmen, it's Hero and Butler. Then there's Terry Rozier. Then it's Bam Adebayo. And it's Jovic in at the four. Now, Hero after LeBron James's miss. And Tyler Hero gets the three. Hero's got the first basket of the game for the Heat. And look at how confident Hero is from range. He'll take that shot whenever possible. And again, no good by the Lakers. And so Adebayo will bring it up for the Heat. It's a three-point game. Well, they're passing to Jovic. Outside, Hero. Down to five on the shot clock. 16 feet away. Anthony Davis with the rebound. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on that. Terrific read on the part of Russell that time. Scanned the court, spotting the open man, and then whipped it there for an easy belt. Adebayo, and Adebayo throws it down. And this guy, to me, embodies determination. Small in his position, but he still gets up and keeps plays alive. That's mind over matter for sure. Two points, that one goes. I guess the defense was not expecting the quick release. LeBron can get it up and down in a hurry, though. That one goes. Count it. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. And here is Los Angeles now after the Heat pickup, too. Hachimura setting the pick for LeBron. Buries it from three-point range. James has got seven. For Miami, they've gone three of four from the field to start out the game. Took the opportunity when he saw it. You know, you're going to have success when you can start out shooting 80% from the game. So, early offensively, they've been great. That's the way you want to Taking the hit and still getting it to go down. Russell showing you some nice toughness there. Rozier kicks to Adebayo. Launches a three. Up again. Controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. You know we talk about it all the time, guys. Those second-chance buckets, always the result of that extra effort. Russell, no luck. The Heat with the lead. The kick outside to Butler. That's good, and it's Rozier with the assist. Rozier's got three assists in the game. James in the post. It's good. Nine points in the game so far. James doing his thing in close to the hoop. Good work there. Butler against Hachimura. And Butler gets it to go. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. And when you make five in a row in close like that, it also takes pressure off your perimeter guys, too. Now, here is Russell. Davis, the pass to Hachimura. Butler against Russell. Five on the clock. The Lakers need to get a shot off here. Releases. Reeves can't hit. And so Adebayo will bring it up for Miami. They lead by four. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. What I love about Jimmy Butler, there's a lot to like, but he brings it every night. His consistency and toughness and production. He plays with passion, leads his team well. Love that throwback mentality of his. Free throw shooting is about mechanics, confidence, and your mental approach. He's locked in from there most every night. Passes it to Autobio. The kick outside to Butler. Rozier with the ball. He's guarded by Russell. And that's good. Terry Rozier for three. And their offense already in a flow. Some stellar shooting to jump out to this league. Quality looks they're getting, and they're capitalizing on them, guys. They have to be happy with this start offensive. Now, here's Rozier. Back to Adebayo. Pass to Rozier. 
driving to the basket. I like their focus coming in. Terrific execution so far. And you know, it's an all-out effort they've come in with. Very aggressive offense so far. Here's Reeves. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Tyler Hero picks one up. Yeah, the defender all over. He got him good there. I mean, that's why the shot was so far off. Both good from the line that time. Well, he leading by nine. Right, the pass to Hawkes. The kick out to right. The second chance effort. And he lays it up and in. And they have owned the paint so far, and the score reflects it. And, you know, establishing that physical dominance early gives you a big mental edge, too. Don't discount that. And so it's the Miami Heat. They're lead. And so far through one quarter, it's been a lopsided game. We'll see if that changes here in the second. Now let's take a moment to get your guys' take on the scoring so far for the Heat. Getting downhill has really been impressive to me. Not settling from the outside. They're going right to the rack. And it seems they've also put an emphasis on moving the ball. Working to rotate around the defense and find those quality looks. They've got Christian Wood. Jared Vanderbilt out there with Torian Prince. Then it's Vincent. And it's Dinwiddie in at the two guard. That's the group for the Lakers to start the second quarter. Here's Vincent. Pass to Dinwiddie. Takes the three. Knocks down the three ball. How about dueling from long range? Just going at each other. Looks to me like there could be something personal taking place here. Right outside. Some nice ball movement here by the Heat. Robinson for three. Good. And the assist goes to Bryant. Robinson's got the lead up to 14 now for the Heat. And here's Prince outside. Hawkins with the rebound. Miami's gotten both of their three-point attempts to go down here in the second quarter. Now the pass to Richardson. Outside Robinson. Six on the shot clock. This one for three. That one doesn't go. Dinwiddie with some nice deep from deep three-point land. Here's Wood, and finished off by Wood. That's an example of a guy who has really figured out his game. Wood imposing his will at the rim. Dinwiddie for three, and Wright pulls it down. The Heat leading by 12. To the middle, here's Richardson. So it's Richardson with the jam. And he just dangles from the bucket after sending that one through. And you can see which team has the swagger right now. Well, you know what? You don't want to do too much to get an opponent riled up. you got to be mindful of that. Coaches say, GA, the league has a problem when it's punishing the retaliators and not the instigators. Do they have a point? Kevin, I think so. But for any scuffle, it's worth asking who started it. And that's what we do in life normally, right? Here's Vincent, and it's off from three-point range. Bryant the pass to Hawkes, and that one is hammered home. And he can do a lot more damage to the rim than that when he wants oh, to. Oh, you're right. Oh, and with the lead they're enjoying, I'm surprised he didn't put a little something extra on that one. Well, I think he did plenty of damage nonetheless. I mean, it was only with one hand, but he still threw that down pretty hard. 156 left here in the second. Robinson goes in. That's a double whammy, guys. <laughs> That's right. A great defensive play, then the emphatic stuff. Well, turning defense to offense, we talk about it all the time. Try to hit your opponent at the other end before they can set up the defense. This is his first chance at the line tonight. And I know he was pleased with his foul shooting last year. How about 87% from the line? And guys, the numbers don't lie. I mean, he was such a reliable presence at the free throw line all throughout last season. Outside Robinson. There's the three. Wood against Bryant. 
Robinson passes to Hawkes. From outside, off the mark. Lakers trail by 13. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldridge. Thanks very much. Well, the great thing in the NBA is the unknown. On any given night, you don't know who'll come out on top. And even coaches like Steve Kerr know it. He said, it's really hard to win an NBA game. And the difference between losing and winning is like that. Kevin? Oh, a, a game of inches, right, David? Just as you're showing us, a game of inches. Thanks. To the inside, Wood. And finished off by Wood. It, it really does make the game easy for your teammates when you can lead them to the rim that well with the pass. Akez, the pass to right. Outside for Robinson. And finished off by Robinson. The D just kind of stepping aside and letting him get to the rim. There's a reason, G.A., the lead is what it is right now. You know, you look at it, the communication is lacking, as is the trust. They can ill afford those types of breakdowns. It won't work. You can't win with those kind of breakdowns. And finished off by Wood. Wood, a guy with great mobility and pretty good skills as well. Getting to the bucket that time. Two seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. Robinson goes in, and he makes that one. Robinson's got 12 points now in the quarter. The plan of attack is obvious. Get the ball inside and go strong to the rim. You know, the defense has been very slow to adapt. I mean, that's 10 straight points now inside. Kicks it out to Prince. Dinwiddie outside. Drives to the hoop. And the last shot before the buzzer is off. And so it's the Miami Heat. 13 points up at the end of the period. Their strategy has been clear tonight. Work the ball inside, get shots in the paint, and now they are scoring with ease. We come back right after this. We don't get to see this every night. They're passing up good shots for great shots, getting high percentage looks. That's how they've controlled the game. And changing gears now. Thank you for being with us. got a second half of basketball for you we think it's going to be pretty good a big comeback though is needed for this game to be competitive and it probably has to happen quickly here's who eric spolster is starting the second half with the wingman it's hero and butler then it's bam Adebayo. then there's terry rogier and it's jovich in at the power forward position i don't know what's happening defensively but they're not putting up any resistance. I tell you what, it reminds me of one of my college coaches who used to say, that ain't going to get it done. That's five straight baskets in the paint now. Count it. Heroes got five now. Oh, they own the interior right now. Ten straight points coming from inside. Well, constantly finding lanes to the basket, getting great looks inside. Here's Russell. Pings in midair and converts on the double clutch layup. Well, I tell you, Russell looking very comfortable taking on aggressive defense and getting the job done. That's good focus on his part. Rozier against Russell. Passes it to Jovic. Going inside. Here's Hero. And that one drops. Heroes got four points now in the quarter. Three for three, and that's always a good way to start the second half. Hachimura kicks to LeBron. Hachimura setting the pick for James. Misses the three. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Yeah, you look across the board, it's actually sizing up, shaping up to be a great game. Strong performances throughout, and they've really been strong on the glass. That's three of four here to start the half. Left side, Hero. Butler with the ball, and Hachimura picks him up defensively. And the foul on Rui Hachimura. That's his first foul. And really, these are some of the toughest calls an official has to make. Yeah, but in this case, I think he got it right. I mean, the 
defender was still moving there and never really had good legal guarding position. He wasn't set. Oh, wow. Four or five to start the half. Coming out on fire. Russell passes to James. Strong in time. What a move by James. And he's really shot the ball well, but, but it hasn't been contagious. Here's Rozier. Bucket is good. Rozier's got nine. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now they've allowed from point blank range. Can't happen. Now, here's Adebayo. G right on him. And he's going to get whistled for that foul, G. That was intentional, but time out, not time out. exactly <laughs> logical. How about pointless <laughs> to foul there? I mean, I don't know where his head is, but it's not in the game. And the Heat going with the whole new group on the floor. So the Lakers call timeout. They're first. And we've got a lineup change here for the Lakers. Just a quick look now at how the point totals have looked over the last several months for Duncan Robinson. And it's really been a nice trend for him over the, these last several months. He, he's been steadily improving in terms of his scoring output. That extra production making him more valuable the further we get along in this season. Richardson. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. Yeah, three consecutive field goals have come right at the rim. The D had better start buckling down. And he's got his first chance at the line here. GA, is it me, or does it feel like we've had more parity in the league the last few seasons? Well, Kevin, the playoffs have been pretty hard to predict lately. I, I will give you that. There's been only one repeat champion in the past decade. It's a competitive league. There's the drive. Here's Bryant, and the dunk by Bryant. And really the story of this second half, one team getting the shots they want, the other not so much. And that's why you have such a huge gap in the shooting numbers between the two. And the basket is good. Got it to go through on the contact, so a free throw coming up. A great opportunity for a three-point play. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. A year ago, he had an 84% success rate on his foul shots. So he was a guy they were always happy to see at the line. Yeah, you know, that was one spot where they didn't have to worry about him at all. I mean, at the free throw line, he was automatic. And guys, he's not an easy man to stop when he's got the rim in his sights. Never has been, never will be. He is a determined finisher. And guys, I like the fact that he chose the one hand tomahawk slam because you get a little higher when you go off one hand and one foot. Back to right. 104 left in the third quarter. Here's Jaquez. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. It's Prince on the wing. Dinwiddie against Wright. Back to Prince. Heat leading by 14. Kicks it out to Bryant. Back to Richardson. That's good, and it's Bryant with the assist. Bryant's got four assists now tonight. And they're passing the ball very crisply here. A three-pointer off the mark. Miami's gotten fewer than half of their three-pointers to go down tonight. They're four for nine. Robinson misses. Pass to Prince. Back to Vanderbilt. And so it's Miami in command with a 16-point lead as the buzzer sounds. Head coach Eric Spolstra mic'd up along this. I like the activity, guys. Act and we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may be already out of hand. Los Angeles calls timeout. And so James will bring it up for Los Angeles. 
They trail by 16. Down in the block, it's LeBron and Davis. At the guard positions, Russell and Reeves. And it's Hachimura in at the three slot. That's the Laker five. Adebayo finds Rozier. Good on the three-point shot. Rozier's got the first points up on the board here in the fourth for the Heat. Russell passes to Hachimura. James sets the screen for Hachimura. For three, sinks the three-pointer. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. Nothing like answering back. One team gets three, you fire three of your own. Boom. There's Hero with the three. And it's LeBron James with the rebound. Lakers trail by 16. Lakers working the ball around now. And it's Davis finishing it off. I don't know what to do about that. Davis just powering it down. And Adebayo throws it down. See, I love the communication and the chemistry between those teammates. Pulls it from 20. Again, Los Angeles. I tell you what, it's, it's almost like stealing to watch how he plays the game from this seat. From 18 feet away, it's Butler that time on the assist by Rozier. Rozier's got six assists here tonight. For Los Angeles, they've gone three of four in field goal attempts since getting things started here in the fourth. Russell from long range. Back to Davis. Wide open look, and he hits the bucket. Love the readiness of AD. He's already prepared himself to shoot before receiving the ball. And Adebayo throws it down. Oh, perfect timing on that alley-oop. Adebayo has a real connection with his teammates. And there is a foul. It goes on Jimmy Butler. That's his first foul. Yeah, clearly he had an established position there. Yeah, and, and I, I like this call because you want the refs in that situation. If there's any doubt, err on the side of giving the benefit of the doubt to the offensive player. That should have been a block, and it was. And LeBron throws it down. I can't emphasize enough what reading is all about. And seeing the game in front of you, another way to put it, Russell making a great choice for the assist there. Right side hero. Off target from outside. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. Boy, they've been terrific from beyond here in the second. Exactly what the doctor ordered. Those three-point bombs will erase the deficit quickly if they can keep it up. I like watching Adebayo operate inside. He is so efficient down low. LeBron outside. LeBron slashes inside. Back to Davis. Lock at six. He takes it in. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. You know, Davis almost forces defenders to foul him when he's on the drive because he's so long and agile off the dribble. And both free throws good for Davis. Well, he's certainly been on target with the free throws. Such an advantage when your bigs can knock them down from the line. Hachimura finds Davis. Here's Reeves. He gets it to fall. That makes it just a single-digit lead. Reeves has got a pair of threes here in the fourth quarter for the Lakers. And the foul called on Anthony Davis. That'll be his second foul of the game. But he beaten by eight. A minute 50 left in the fourth quarter. Rozier looking around. And there's the drive. Pass to Jovich. Wants to get it to Butler and does. Deflected by Davis. His great length really helps AD defensively. LA's on three or four from downtown here in the fourth. James outside. The pass to Russell. Fires from deep. And again, it's the Lakers from deep. Big score at this point in the game, folks. D'Angelo can't do it any better than that. Now Rogier. And the layup's good off the glass. Rozier's got nine points here in the second half. 
a defensive breakdown there, no doubt about it. I mean, he's a guy you have to be focused on defensively. Pass to Davis. Oh, A.D. is the man. Prime time play by a prime time ball. Left side, Hero. The kick outside to Butler. And slam dunk by Butler. Relentless in their approach, even with the game firmly in hand. And, you know, until that final buzzer sounds, I mean, you've got to treat every possession like it's crucial. Rozier, the pass to Hero. Russell against Rozier. Back to Hero. From past the arc. Rebounded by the Lakers. I, I think it's safe to call this one a wrap. Yep, I'd agree with you. Chalk it up. W in the bag. Knocks down the trifecta. And this is who LeBron James is. An incredible leader. When the game is tight, this guy willing to step up.
strong veteran leaders. You were in that role not too long ago, my friend. You're right, B.A. It feels like just yesterday. And you need a steady presence and voice on the player side. It really can help a team through some rough stretches throughout the year. All right, now let's check out the starters for the Miami Heat. Hero and Butler make up the perimeter pair. Then it's Bam Adebayo. Then it's Terry Rozier. And it's Jovic in at the four-man position. Harris passes to Embiid. And Embiid throws it down. Oh, what a dunk by Embiid. He's just doing big man things the way big man should. And it's Butler off the drive. Rozier against Lowry. Back to Adebayo. Not going to go that time. Embiid with a nice defensive effort. For three, Maxi. And Rozier pulls it down. And here's Adebayo. He'll bring it up for the Heat. And where the Sixers really separate themselves, Richard. Elite in both three-point and free-throw percentage. Yeah, with Embiid doing what he does, you're going to get a lot of free throws. And you're going to get looks from range because of the amount of attention that he gets. Fearless play from Butler. Defenses should know he's going to try and draw a foul while shooting. And the first one at the line is good. At the line for the Heat. Butler hits them both. Now he's perfectly comfortable doing work at the line. Here's Maxi, And he drives in. And that one is hammered home. And he just punches home the one-hand finish. Hey, two points the easy way. Butler into the lane. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. That's on Joel Embiid. At any point in the game, buckets will push the action and make something happen. Butler hits them both. The 76ers have gone just two for four from the floor. Rozier against Lowry. Harris outside. 4-3. Miami grabs the miss. First quarter, just over a minute and a half in. Pass to Adebayo. It's good. What vision from Rozier there. Seeing his teammate was wide open and making the right pass. Maxi against Hero. Now Oubre. Here's Embiid with the drive. Perfect night so far. Two for two. Starting to find his rhythm. He's cooking and he knows it. Yeah, when he gets engaged this early in the game, it's bad news for the defense. He can roll this start throughout the rest of the game. Rozier, the pass to Jovic. Back to Hero. Three-pointer. Shot clock at five. Pure from three-point range. Yeah, absolutely no hesitation from Hero. He shoots at will from range. Left side, Maxi. And here's another one for the Sixers. Why fade away there? Just making the shot more difficult, if you have to ask me. Maxi against Butler. And it's Butler with the jam. When Butler is cleared for takeoff, just get off the runway. <laughs> Lowry, the pass to Maxi. Down low. 151 left to play in the first. Oh, and they immediately answer back with a dunk on the other end. A quality pass setting up a quality shot. It's just textbook basketball. And Joel Embiid is a rarity in many ways, including how effective he is inside. Yeah, B.A., we don't see that as much as we used to. Big men dominating down low. But Embiid is an exception. A center with a deadly mix of dominance down low and skill work outside. And Philadelphia has possession after the basket by Miami. Whoa, there is the nasty streak that I like to see from Embiid. He wants to destroy you, and I love it when he's got that look in his eye. Now here's Adebayo. Really had his troubles in that loss to Dallas. He just couldn't find his rhythm. Oubre against Butler. Lowry to pass to Oubre. Harris down low. Pass to Embiid. Fires for three. 
that falls. Nice setup by Harris. Embiid's got nine. He's just got it on automatic right now, shooting 100%, and that'll keep your confidence on. Releases. A shot by Butler. No good. Philadelphia has gone one for three from beyond the arc. Lowry against Rozier. Harris, a screen on Butler. Oubre. Oh, yes! Whoa. Throw it down! Oh. This guy is putting on a clinic for the people. Man, I'm shocked. I can't believe he pulled that off in a real game. Rozier can't get it to go. The 76ers have gone a fantastic 8 of 11 so far. And Harris throws it down. Smart pass from the quick thinking Maxi. Outstanding at finding uncovered teammates. Good work there as it goes. <laughs> they keep trading punches. Both teams in a groove early. You have to think at this point the winner will be the one to settle in on defense. Joel Embiid. He's feeling it tonight. And has been the driving force for the 70s. And it's been a pretty even game here after one quarter of play. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for Philadelphia. Oh, boy, they've been driving deep into that defense early on, and it's paid off. Great penetration from the perimeter so far. Well, I've also really loved watching them connect from the in-between area. I mean, they're finding ways to do damage consistently from there. Setting the floor for Miami. Thomas Bryant out there with Josh Richardson. Then it's Duncan Robinson. Then it's Delon Wright. And it's Jaquez in at the small forward position. Wright finds Richardson. Takes the assist and lays it in. Nice setup. Richardson's gotten his first bucket of the night. Healed for three. Connects from downtown. Trading the lead back and forth. Neither side is willing to back down. I've been on the edge of my seat, courtside. Man, this has been a barn burner. <laughs> That's how you up the ante. Come right back at him. Yeah, I love the competitive fire right there. You drain a triple on us, and I'm coming for my revenge. Showing off the dribble moves. Able to create for himself. I love it. Here's right. Oh, it's blocked by Bamba. Here in the second quarter, a little over a minute of play. Bamba, a screen on Robinson. Here's Heald, driving to the basket. He's in his comfort zone. Two for two to start this one. Good take. We all know Heald can shoot. The threat of the outside J helps open up those driving lanes for him. Bryant, the pass to Richardson. Back to Bryant. Robinson against Heald. Clock at six. And there's Richards on the assist by Wright. Richardson's got his second bucket on the night. They're punishing those late defensive rotations. Getting good looks inside throughout the half. Bamba, a screen on Richardson. And it's Batum penetrating. Can't get it to fall. They timed up the layup perfectly. The D saw it develop and got there to bother the shot. And the call will be against Mo Bamba. That's his first foul of the game. Quarter two in about two minutes in. Bryant with the bucket. Richard, when you were playing, what was your favorite offensive set to run? Oh, back in the day, they used to call it drop three, where they would just bring the ball up to the side, let me catch it on the right block, and let me play one-on-one. -on -one. That's what it used to be. Now, maybe it was the back. Gives us a chance to catch up with Allie LaForce. Hey, Brian. Well, the Sixers have so much firepower, but it's all about chemistry. Anyone knows the way teams grow is by talking and being around each other. The connection between the stars is what's going to help them reach their peak. Brian? Well, they've had to deal with some adjustments for sure. Allie, thanks. But the defender had more size than him, but did not have more fight. The Sixers trailing. Bamba, a screen on Robinson. Heald for three. And it's Richardson with the rebound. The Heat have gotten six of their seven shots to go in the second quarter. And so they choose to intentionally foul. I mean, I'm just not sure what he was thinking right there. I mean, he needs to get his head in the game. And it's a completely new group for the 76ers. Outside for Rozier. 
There's a minute 54 left to play in the first half of basketball. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. And checking the 2K leaderboard. These teams led the league in three-point percentage last year. The 76ers, number one. And looking at last season, the thing that jumps out at you is their three-point percentage. Best in the league in that category, which is great to see considering how valued the three ball is nowadays in our game. Outside Maxi, inside, and Harris throws it down. And I understand that people might not realize this, but he's six foot seven. You cannot forget about his bounce because he's got some. Here's Butler. Oh, Butler, what a dunk! Now that's how you use the screen right there. And it leads to a thunderous finish. That was nice. Yeah, you like the pick to set up the open shot. But when it leads to a dunk, okay, even better. He'll take it. Adebayo passes to Rozier. Outside for Butler. Here's Butler on the take. The three. Rozier gets the bucket. And now it's a seven-point Miami lead. You have to appreciate Rozier's confidence. Ready to pull up as soon as he catches it. Pass to Embiid. Back to Maxi. The three. Miami grabs the miss. Just enough of a shot contest to bother him. Rozier, the pass to Jovic. Rozier against Lowry. Butler with the ball. Now out of bio. Excellent D there from Embiid. Lowry, the pass to Harris. And Harris throws it down. And that's how you orchestrate the offense. Lowry showing the vision and the unselfishness. Hero on the wing. Maxi covering. Pass to Jovic. And here's Butler. Two on the clock. Drives to the hoop. The layup off target. Everything right except the finish. You have to keep focus all the way through the play. And the first half comes to a conclusion in a game that's been very close so far. It's the Heat. They lead by five. And don't go away. After the break, we'll see you right back here for the start of quarter number three. The effort we've seen from the bench so far, it really helps to keep this kind of depth. Guys who can come in on the offense. And moving on. Appreciate you joining us. It's been our dis... And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been a fairly even one. It has been one outstanding game from Jimmy Butler. Through the first two quarters, he's been on fire. Explosive offensive performance. If they don't change their approach in the second half, eh, let's just say his success will continue. Harris and Embiid are in the middle. Kyle Lowry out there with Tyrese Maxey. And it's Oubre in at the three. That's the group in the game for the 76ers. And so it looks like it'll be Philadelphia ball. <laughs> Great read to get a hand in there and disrupt the play. Yeah, I think he was hoping to maybe even get the steal, but I agree. He's still got a good outcome. Great job executing that inbounds play. That's got to make Coach happy. Here's Rozier, and a powerful one-handed slam. And a vicious slam by Rozier, really sticking it to them. Lowry, the pass to Harris. Hero for three. And again, Miami with a triple. Excellent execution coming out of the break. They've taken three shots and made three shots. For three, Maxi. Adebayo grabs the board. And he probably thought he was going to bury that one. Here's Butler. Oh, tough work inside from Butler. Their execution after halftime has been excellent, making their first four. Out to Lowry. And there's the drive. Harris passes to Lowry. That falls. Nice setup by Harris. Harris has got three assists in the game. Look, as his career has gone on, the vision, let's say it's improved for Harris. Pass to Jovic. Miami calls timeout. 
Yeah, Coach no doubt wants to use this timeout to review the matchups and maybe make some adjustments as well. I'm sure all of the above is in order, and you can never be too content. So it's both teams making substitutions here. Richardson with a screen on Martin. Here's Jaquez. It's hauled in by the Sixers. Heald from outside. And Bryant pulls it down. The Heat with the lead. To the middle. Here's Robinson. The rebound by Melton. The 76ers have gotten two of four shots to go since the break. Heald passes to Bamba. And here's Martin. Let's the three fly. Drains the triple. Martin's got five. I mean, I guess they're willing to give him that shot. <laughs> they may want to rethink that strategy, though. Outside Robinson. To the paint. Here's Bryant. And then Bryant with the dunk. Woo! Defensively, you can't afford to let him get to the rim that easily. Well, that might be why their deficit is what it is right now. Yeah, it's going to take better rim protection than that if they're going to climb out of this hole. And a little contact never stopped Heal, a committed scorer who knows how to keep his balance on his shot. Miami has got all four threes to drop from downtown in this game. To the inside, Bryant, and then Bryant with the dunk. And although he's undersized at his position, his vertical, yeah, that'll clean up a few mistakes. Melton passes to Bamba. This one for three. And Melton is good for three. Melton's got his second basket of the night. Wow. <laughs> Their opponent is doing a tremendous job spacing the floor. Robinson can't hit. Now Philadelphia with it. They're on a 12-4 run. Back to Melton. Bamba, the pass to Melton. Bamba, the screen on right. From deep, Melton. And it's Richardson with the rebound. For Miami, they've gone six for nine in the half. Going inside, and it's flushed down. A nice jam. Nice one-handed jam. Simple and effective, B.A. Hey, with the lead, I'm surprised you didn't come up with something a little more creative. Right against Melton. Back to Batum. Melton passes to Martin. Five to shoot. Down low. Here's Bamba. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. Rate of baskets assisted. It's a stat I really like. It tells the story of how well you are playing team offense. Right against Melton. Right pass to Robinson. Back to right. The kick out to Richardson. Pass to Hawkins. Here's Bryant. Chalk up two there. Bryant's got eight. Their defense just falls apart once the ball goes inside. Melton passes to Bamba. Bamba, the screen on Robinson. Back to Bamba. And it's Bamba finishing strong. Look at Hill's unselfish approach. He's working to find everyone a look, not just himself. Richardson, the pass to Robinson. There's 21 seconds left in the third. Over heel. The rebound by Bamba. Not that time, but that's a shot that he's going to make more often times than not. Melton finds Bamba. And it's Bamba finishing strong. And once he gets to the rim, it's fairly automatic. Nothing fancy right there. Just takes his two points, moves on. And the game's still closely contested as we end the third quarter. Heat out in front. They lead by... And meanwhile, Eric Spolstra rallying. All right, put together. Man, I know I speak for all of us when I say I can't wait to see what kind of finish awaits us here in the fourth quarter. Setting the floor for Miami. Hero and Butler make up the perimeter pair. Then it's Terry Rozier. Then it's Bam Adebayo. And it's Jovic into the power forward. Yeah, and Bede is getting everything he wants on the offensive side. He's playing some aggressive basketball right now. Oh! That is powerful. Oh, yes! Yeah, his eyes open wide. Adebayo knew he had a chance to do something special. Maxi attacking. Hey, how's that for an answer? Right back with the dunk. Pulling the whole thing down to the floor right there. 
He has been a key factor for them offensively, scoring with consistency. Back to Oubre. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. That's on Jimmy Butler. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for the Heat. Wow, they're moving the ball around so well, guys. Quick passes, letting the next guy do the work if you don't have a look. They're also finding a lot of points tonight off of transition play. Running the floor and using the fast break to beat the defense. Here's Butler, and the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket is good, and he'll go to the line. you got to really hit Butler if you want to stop him. I mean, he's tough as nails and enjoys fighting through contact. And so it's Maxi with it. He brings it up for Philadelphia. Four-point game. Tries it from 19. Out to Harris. Harris, a screen on hero. Maxi passes to Harris. Shot clock at six. Another shot. Good. Five for nine shooting so far. Man, that's now ten straight points in the paint. I'm not sure what's happened to their defense. Butler finds Hero. Here's Jovic. Pounded by Harris. That one drops for him. Yeah, a versatile player. Hero is terrific at sensing when his guys are open. Maxi against Hero. Maxi, that's good. Maxi's got six here in the quarter. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. Hero for three. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. And Philadelphia calls time here. the 76ers with some changes. Bombas checked in for Harris. Melton comes in for Oubre. And Heald is subbed in for Lowry. Time now to hear from our reporter, Ali LaForce. I had a chance to find out what Nick Nurse was discussing with his players. He really emphasized rim protection. He said to his guys, I want us to cut down on the easy looks inside. No more of that. It's a simple ask that could have a big impact. Appreciate the report, Ali. And a great look provided by him. The big man just dropping dimes. There's a whistle. That goes on DeAnthony Melton. That's his first foul of the game. A touch under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. Oh, it's blocked by Bamba. And now the Sixers on the break. Here's Melton. And he goes up strong with a one-handed jam. He was way ahead of the pack. No one around to contest. He can do anything he wants in that situation. And those might be the easiest points of the month for him. Rising to the challenge, Adebayo stays under control and hits a big-time shot. Maxi attacking. And the dunk to finish it off. Oh, beauty. Attacking in a big moment. Maxi is not holding back. Hero for three. Joel Embiid pulls it down. Embiid's got four rebounds now. Maxi passes to Bamba. Mountain with the ball. Butler covering. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. The defense there doing whatever they can to protect the rim. A chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for the 76ers. Ooh, they've been punishing the inside defense consistently in this one. Look, it's been a very productive area on the floor for them. Well, another thing they did well was taking advantage of the holes in the defense. Very aggressive in exploiting the lack of concentration. Pass to Adebayo. And it's good from the elbow. Adebayo's got 10 points here in the second half. Continuing to evolve his game. I like when Adebayo takes and makes mid-range J's. Basket's good. This situation does not matter for Buddy Hill. He is a fearless shooter and comes up big for his team right there. Close here outside. Adebayo sets a screen. There's the three. The rebound by Bamba. 
Bomber's got five rebounds in the game. Butler against Melton. Now here's Heald, tightly guarded. Melton against Butler. And that one's good. Melton. Now it's a 6-point 76ers lead. They're going at it on offense. Neither team backing down. Man, this has been a fun one. But look, who doesn't love a high-scoring game? Heald against Hero. Outside Heald. Back to Bombo. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. Love to see him inside passing like this, as well as guys being on the same page. Out of bio from long range. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. 20 seconds left to play in the fourth. And here is Maxi. So it's Philadelphia picking up the win. Boy, they didn't make it.
postseason, it's not uncommon to see some nerves or even sloppy play. No doubt. I mean, as a player, you put so much time and effort into preparing for the season. Sometimes emotions can get the best of you, and it can take a little time to settle into a game. And now the Lakers starting group at the guard positions. Russell and Reeves down in the block. It's LeBron and Davis. And it's Hachimura in at the three. And I'll bet that's what they talked about before the game, getting the ball inside early. There's Russell with the three. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. Yeah, and sensing the situation, Russell with the stop and pop. Nice choice. Lowry kicks to Embiid. Pass to Maxi. Embiid sets the pick for Maxi. Back to Embiid. And Davis sends it back. It's stolen by Lowry. Oubre finds Harris. Here's Maxi. Basket is good. The assist from Harris. Maxi's got five points so far. This is where Tobias has really improved, keeping his eyes up, making plays for others. Davis kicks it out to LeBron, passes it to Russell. Fires the three. Score the basket, his second of two attempts. Hitting three-pointers, so important in today's NBA. Good thing Russell's got the range and confidence to do so. Here's Maxi, Another three for Philadelphia. And we're already seeing a little rhythm out of this offense. They've hit three out of four so far. And for his size and Steve when healthy, Anthony Davis is as agile and mobile as they come. That's his secret sauce, Kevin. He has great size and skill, but his ability to move like a guard really separates him from other bigs. Here's Max following the basket by LeBron James. And Harris wide open. He shoots a miss that time. Would have put him up. LA has gone two or three from deep so far in this game. Hachimura, no good. For Philadelphia, they've gone three or five shooting the ball so far. Here's Maxi, And James pulls it down. Not sure if that's the shot you were looking for, but it's a fairly clean look. Almost have to take it. And a dunk by James. How about that one from LeBron James? That was nice. Here's MP and the dunk by MB. And the one hand slam just looks so pretty when it's in his hand and he's the one doing the slam. Agreed. He is smooth as silk, even on a power finish. And Davis puts it in. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. MB the screen. Harris outside. Embiid is at the elbow. Here's Maxi, and Davis sends it back. Using that seven foot six wingspan, Anthony Davis, an elite shot blocker. Lowry from outside, drills it from outside. This quarter of action, just under three and a half minutes played. Elbow shot is on the way. Here's Reeves, and that one is good with the extra effort on the glass. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. Out to Harris. Outside Lowry. Back to Harris. Philadelphia moving the ball around. Harris setting the pick for Maxi. From the arc, another three for Philadelphia. And that pick takes the D totally out of the equation. Hey, if you're not going to fight over, you're essentially giving the shooter the look he wants. Oh, okay. I guess LeBron wanted that one to sting a little. He put a little extra on that one. Got that one up quick. And that's 13 points for Tyrese Maxey. In this period, they're feeding him, and he's feeling it. Here's Reeves. He's covered by Maxey. Russell against Lowry. Find the shoot. Outside for Davis. Good, and it's Russell picking up the assist. Three points. Russell's got three assists tonight. The 76ers trail by three. And it's Oubre, the drive, and the call on the shot that sends him to the line. 
Rui Hachimura picks one up. Nice work to get it inside and draw the contact. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. And both free throws good for Ubre. Los Angeles has gone three of five from three point land so far in the ball game. Five second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Here's the three. And again, Los Angeles with the triple. I'll tell you what, I'm not sure these guys can keep this up. Yeah, both teams in the zone early. Stops have been almost impossible to come by. A powerful finisher, Oubre Jr. You deserve to get tucked on when you let him get inside. Ball stolen. Here's Lowry. Well-timed pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. Lowry's got his second bucket of the night. And a nice job here early of establishing an inside presence. It's all tied in Philadelphia. And the second quarter... And if you're just tuning in, it's been a pretty even game through the first quarter. And looking at what we've seen from the 76ers, what do you guys think? Well, they used the fast break to generate some easy buckets before the defense could get set. You know this, the team that dictates the pace typically rules the roost. We see that here early on. Bamba is out there with Batum. Then it's Heal. Then it's Martin. And it's Melton in at the guard position. That's the group for Philadelphia to start the second quarter. Trains the three-pointer. Woods got himself on the board with three there. And Wood has become an intimidating presence at the arc, able to knock down that three with consistency. Oh, an aggressive move and fantastic finish. Mm -hmm. Trying to send a message with that slam, I think. With a short break in the action, gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. As ever, Joel Embiid has the pressure on him to be the franchise player. He said it's not an easy job. If it was easy, everybody would do it. When you're actually the best offensive player and the best defensive player, you got to make plays. You can't be perfect. All I can do is try to do my best every game. Kevin? Well said. His best DA is pretty great, isn't it? Thank you so much for the report. Bamba passes to Batum, and again, it's Philadelphia. The smooth jumper from Nicholas Batum. It gets better with age. Kicks it to Dinwiddie. Hits Prince on the wing. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch, they say, by Martin. You know, these are the guys you need to be aware of. If you don't want your pocket pit, <laughs> here are last season's steals leaders. Fifth, the Anthony Melton. He showed such tremendous defensive instincts. Trust me, nobody wanted him guarding them last year. Wood against Bamba. A reverse. Steve, you were considered oversized for a guard when you were coming up out of school and into the pros. But right now, I don't feel like size matters as much at that position. You, you can be any size. Yeah, I totally agree. But I think if you're a guy that has a lot of height and you has the skill set to play the guard position, you definitely have an advantage. The bigger you are and the more tight your skill set, the more successful you will be on the floor. And we're about two minutes into the second quarter. Los Angeles has gone two or three when they've stepped beyond the arc in the second quarter. Took him no time at all on that one. Prince has got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The hustle stats for the Lakers. They are making a statement so far on the defensive end. Sending shots away in incredible fashion. Loving the hustle. And yeah, how about this team also following up their shots, getting those offensive boards, also a key for their success. Steve, wouldn't you agree the Los Angeles Lakers are one of, if not the most storied franchise in the NBA? Yes, Kevin, the facts prove it. The number one and number two all-time lead scorers both captured the record as Lakers. That's history right there. Batum for three. A rebound by the Lakers. Here are the Lakers. They're on a 14-4 run right now. Healed against Dinwiddie. Here's Vincent. That one falls coming off Dinwiddie's feet. 
and it's an 11 point Los Angeles lead. Out of their last five makes, how about all five from long range? Bamba, a screen on Dinwiddie. Pass to Bamba, launches it, and he's good on the three ball. Bamba's got five points now in the quarter. Both teams running perimeter-oriented plays that are working. How often do we see this these days? Clubs answering each other from range. Now here's Prince. Here's Wood. And finished off by Wood. Look at the unselfishness by Prince. Doesn't have what he wants. Keeps the ball moving. Here's Melton. They kick out to heel. No good on the triple. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. He is so good attacking the rim. It's rare to see him denied like that. From deep, Prince. And it's Melton with the rebound. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Martin wide open. He fires. Drops in the tray. And not just a score. He is solid at reading when his guys are open for a look. Vanderbilt setting the pick for Dinwiddie. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. And it's Batum with the ball. Bringing it up for the Philadelphia 76ers. It's a 10-point game. And this guy is a scoring machine. I mean, I know I'm not the only one to describe him that way. And he's got his first chance at the line here. Lakers have gone 8 of 12 since the start of the second quarter. That's a really high percentage, hitting around 67%. Vanderbilt kicks to Wood. Down low, Dinwiddie drops in the layup for two. Dinwiddie's got 11 here in this quarter alone. And with more passes like that, Wood can make things very hard. That'll round out his game. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers. Ahead by nine as the quarter comes to a close. A terrific tempo and a great pace. The fast break has been a central part of their offense. We'll return shortly. Looking at Philadelphia. At this point, you got to take every team you're up against as a test. Asking yourself, what can we do? All right, let's focus on the half of play we just saw. It's proving to be an uphill battle for the Philadelphia 76ers. Thanks for joining us. Now let's toss it to Kevin Hart. And happy you could join us. We've got two quarters left to go in regulation. You look at Tyrese Maxey in this one, guys. He has been everywhere. Well, we'll find out if they were able to find an, an answer for him over the break. He was scoring with ease in that first half. I think both sides probably adjusted a few things. The key for him is to bring the same level of energy over these last two quarters. So the Lakers five right now. Down to the block, it's LeBron and Davis. At the guard positions, Russell and Reeves, and it's Hachimura in at the small forward. Back to Hachimura. Screen by James. Trains it from beyond the arc. Hachimura's got himself going there, his first points of the game on the deep ball. And it's Harris off the drive. Lowry passes to Embiid. To the middle. Good ball movement here by the 76ers. To the paint. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. And you've got to admire the toughness that Embiid plays with. He doesn't let fouls stop him from scoring. Russell against Lowry. Outside, Davis. Fires the three. And another three for the Lakers. There are so many dimensions to AD's game. Shooting threes, just another thing he does well. Outside, Maxi Harris setting the pick for Maxi. Off target with his three. And with the success they've had rebounding the basketball, they're right where you'd expect them to be firmly in the driver's seat. The defense a step slow. You can see the results. 
And talking about LeBron James, Steve, he still is on the hunt for more championships. Kevin, that hunger is still evident. He's all about finishing his career on a strong note, which includes winning as many titles as possible. Russell against Lowry. Russell kicks to Davis, jacks up a three, and it's Lowry with the rebound. The 76ers trail by 18. Back to Embiid. Oubre on the wing. Harris setting the pick for Lowry. Harris outside to end the run. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Here's the pass to Reeves. The tray. A three-pointer is right on target. Reeves has got 13. Yeah, great outside shooting, really fueling this run. Lowry drives in. Now, here's Maxi. He's covered closely. Out to Harris. Let's it go with a three. And the three ball is good. Harris has got his first three points of the game. And consistent from range when he first entered the league. Tobias has turned that completely around. And here's Davis for three. It's hauled in by Harris. Philadelphia has gone outside a lot tonight. 17 times, in fact. Seven of 17. No good with the triple. Los Angeles leading by 18. Here's Reeves. That's in there. Davis with the assist. 16 points for him. That's a dozen straight points coming off the triple. Oubre can't get it to go. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. So timeout called here. The first for Los Angeles. And the 76ers with a completely new group now. And a look here at the scoring trend over the last several months for Rui Hachimura. And he's been on the upswing offensively these past few months. And you know how much they love getting all those extra points out of him. He's been carrying a much bigger load lately, and I think he'll just continue to get better. And the dunk by Vanderbilt. Sky high. One of his advantages as an undersized four. Bamba passes to heel. No good on the three. And so Wood will bring it up for Los Angeles. They lead by the biggest margin of the game, 23 points. Right now, I'd send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. Thanks very much, Kevin. We have seen officials cracking down in recent years on traveling violations. The sense from the league was with the freedom of movement rule changes, it was becoming almost impossible to defend if ball handlers get away with, let's call it extra footwork. It's been an adjustment for the players, but they're talented enough to make that adjustment. Kevin? Where they, yeah, they are. You're right, a high skill level indeed. DA, thank you. So it's the Lakers now. 76ers getting the bucket. From deep, Prince. And Bamba pulls it down. The 76ers trail by 21. Here's Martin into the lane and finished off by Martin. Nicholas Batum making the resourceful play, gifting the ball to a ready shooter instead of forcing something. From deep, Wood. That one falls coming off Dinwiddie's feet. Wood's got 10 points. Their ability, again, to stretch the floor, particularly in this second half. This was obviously a focal point coming out of the break. Look smart when the shots are going down. Dinwiddie finds Wood. Batum grabs the miss. Empty possession, and you don't want to miss these easy looks. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers taking a 19-point lead into the break. And with as many three-pointers as they bring, it's easy to see why they're on the cusp of a blowout. Right back after this break. And now let's go back to a play from earlier as we show you our State Farm assist of the game. And, you know, you can always count on him for at least a couple of these pretty assists over the course of a game. And this one, a thing of beauty. You see why they trust him with the ball in his hands. He can make the simple play, and he can pull off the spectacular. And one quarter to go in a game that, to this point, has not been an evenly fought contest. Batum is out there with Martin. And there's Mohamed Bamba. Then it's Heal. 
And it's Melton in at the point. That's the group on the four for Philadelphia. Good on the bucket. All right, well, look at how the hustle game has been going for Los Angeles. Their defense, it's their defense. It has been downright incredible so far. Being disruptive and coming up with steals left and right. And another thing, guys, they dominated on fast breaks tonight, outrunning their opponent the entire game. Dinwiddie with the bucket. So reliable. They've really leaned on him at the offensive end. And Philadelphia calls time here. And it's a completely new group for Los Angeles. Philadelphia's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. And it's Heal off the drive. It's good because you have to respect that outside shot. The, the drive is often there for Heal. Hachimura, no good. The 76ers trail by 21. Three-pointer, Martin. And Davis pulls it down. Davis has got his fifth rebound right now in the game. It's going by Heal. Milton with the ball. He's picked up by Russell. Three-pointer, Heal. Rebounded by the Lakers. Davis has got six rebounds here tonight. There's Russell with the three. And it's Melton with the rebound. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Timeout call, the 76ers. Some changes for Philadelphia. Embiid, he's checked in for Bamba. Harris comes in for Nicholas Batum. And Maxey subbed in for Martin. Here's Maxi. Lays it up off the glass. Some guys just understand how to generate points. He's one of them. Here's Reeves. Good, and it's Russell picking up the assist. Reeves has got 14 points now in the second half. And when he gets it going, this is what can happen. They need to think about the double team now. A tale of two halves. He's really turned it around here, scoring the ball. Now here is Davis on loads, and James picks up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. That's his first personal foul. The 76ers trail by 20. Healed outside. Russell against Melton. Off target from three-point range. And so it's Davis. He'll bring the ball up for the Lakers. Earlier, they held a 23-point lead. Nice shot by James. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball move. And here's Maxi after LeBron James hitting the three. Goes up on the wing. Rebound the Lakers. It's a shot you would think he would make. He just doesn't make it all the time. Here's Davis. Gets it to drop, and now he's shooting at a 5-for-8 clip. A full arsenal of moves inside. AD always has a way to beat you. Two minutes Russell from long range. He can't get that one to fall. 76ers have gotten only three of their nine field goal attempts to go down since the end of the third. Pretty cold down the stretch. And that one's good. Maxi. Woo! He got a clean look, and he makes the defense pay for disrespecting him. Here's Reeves. Kicks it out to James. Good, and the assist goes to Russell. Russell's got six assists in the game. If he has space, LeBron will not miss that shot. And then he throws it down. Yeah, just solid work on the back end of that one. If you're right, finish hard with two hands on that stuff. Here's Reeves. Pass to Hachimura. Goes back up. Shot clock at six. There's Russell with a three. And Embiid pulls it down. And if they know what's good for them, that's the way they'll defend against him every time he takes the ball on the three-point lane. Lakers leading by 23. And one team is just completely outclassing the other tonight. Spirited performance. And it really ignited what is turning out to be a monster win here for the Lakers. This was a team performing to its uh, fullest capability. Uh, a, a hugely satisfying win. A, a, a game that not many will soon forget. And on the other side, 
one that I think most will try to forget. And it'll go down as their first official win of the new year. And bragging rights between these teams were on the line today, and they put in some very good work to earn them. Healed from outside. Again, healed missing. At some point, when you recognize someone's this out of rhythm, you have to shift to something else. Here's Reeves. He's covered by Maxi.
which means it's time to tip off the NBA season, Brent. Thankfully, we got through the offseason storylines, the preseason, and all the predictions out there. It's not about that stuff. It's about the play. So let's get it started. And the Lakers starting five. It's LeBron at power forward with AD as the center. Dilo and Reeves are the backcourt duo. And it's Achimura in at the three. And this summer, one of the Heat's own, Dwayne Wade, inducted into the Basketball Hall of Fame brand. What an amazing big game performer Dwayne Wade was during his entire career. 13-time All-Star, three-time champion, and he brought the organization their first title. That just says it right there. Dwayne Wade, the foundation, the rock of the Miami Heat. And so Hero will bring it up for Miami. Pass to Jovic. Now here's Butler. Hachimura covering. Out of bio from long range. And the three-pointer goes. Just a great setup there. You can see how Jimmy Butler enjoys making plays. Russell into the lane. The shot no good. Oh, nice D from Rozier. Here's Adebayo. Outside for Rozier. Hero outside. They set the screen. Five on the clock to the middle. Nifty move. And it's good on the lay-in. Intelligent play there by Hero. Sets the defense and then hands it off for the assist. James, a screen on Hero. Here's Reeves. From the top of the key, he buries it. He's a producer. It's part of their plan to get him as many touches as possible. Here's Butler on the take. And it's Butler with the jam. Opportunistic score there from Jimmy Butler. Sees the lane, fills the lane. Shot is good by Reeves. Reeves has got five now. You don't want to let him get into a rhythm from out there. Here's Jovic. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Now their offense is rolling. A perfect start. Four of four so far. Los Angeles has gone one of two from three-point land so far. Here's Reeves. It's hauled in by the Heat. Hero finds out a bio to the left wing. And here's Rozier, guarded by Russell. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Russell. All right, now that we have a break, let's take a look at which teams capitalized from the line last season. Second, the Heat. Yeah, last season, this team had very few weak links at the free throw line, and that consistency added up to a sizable advantage. And here's Butler outside, and the Heat, another three. Their ball movement on this run has been tremendous. It's led to a lot of good, clean, open looks. To the paint. Here's James. Oh, yes, sir. oh, oh my! Wow. Throw that one up top. Oh, what a play. Ah, uh, never get tired of LeBron James in the air doing wonderful things. Pass to Adebayo. All sorts of time. He's in his comfort zone. Two for two to start this one. Now that's the kind of passing right there that makes a difference. Not just in that possession, but maybe on your play for the entire game. And more and more, Bam Adebayo loves to go with his mid-range shot. Yeah, he feels like it's getting to that automatic stage when he's at those elbows with that high-arcing, soft touch that he has. And that high release makes it really tough to stop. Kicks it to Hero. Pass to Jovic. And here's Butler. Crosses over into the lane. And it's Butler with the jam. Man, way over the defenses. Jimmy Butler gets some air time. Screen by James. Inside. And it's James with the jam. Not getting old here. Seeing him make that lead pass with perfect timing. Rogier finds out a bio. Fires the three. LeBron with the rebound. He's got to be mad at himself. You won't get a better look than that. Takes a three. And another three for the Lakers. And the defense is really allowing them too much room on the perimeter. Rozier with it. And Davis picks him up defensively. Adebayo passes to Butler. Now here's Hero. Outside for Butler. 
Down to five on the shot clock. Oh, he gets it to go. So far, he can't miss. He's four for four. He still hasn't missed. Four for four to start the game. Russell against Rozier. Down low. James. And it's James with the jam. Sometimes it's the simple play that's most effective. D'Lo with a nice assist. Just two seconds between the shot clock and the game clock. Rozier, the pass to Jovic. Ooh, good finish at the rack off the slick feed. Jovic has got his third basket on the night right there. Let's it go from deep. And another three for the Lakers. And he was dominant in their last outing. And the same thing here tonight. He is in a terrific groove right now. Seems to be nobody standing in his way. No roadblocks for him to get to his spot, capitalize, and continue to be aggressive. Jimmy Butler getting it done for the Miami Heat. Hunting for opportunities, leading to nine points in the quarter. All right, we'll get back to the action after this break. Good action already in this one, but a fairly even matchup after this first quarter of play. And let's take a moment here to get your take, guys, on the scoring so far for the Heat. Well, hey, guys, I mean, can we talk about how unselfish they've been just racking up the assist numbers, moving it around with great precision? Well, a lot of the players are doing a good job as well of scanning the interior part of the paint. All those inside looks, those are paying off. DeLon Wright is out there with Duncan Robinson. Then it's Thomas Bryant. Then there's Josh Richardson. And it's Jaquez in at the three, the small forward. That's the group on the floor for Miami. And it's a completely new group for the Lakers. The Heat with the lead. Richardson finds Wright. Back to Richardson. Bryant outside. Wood. Check out Wood using all of his length, allowing him to knock away the shot. Count it from distance. I think the defense has more concerns out there on the floor, and they give him a good open look from the perimeter. Richardson for three, and that's good. His first bucket of the game. That's a shot he's going to bury, especially when left open. Los Angeles has got five of seven threes to drop here tonight. And it's good. Two points. Vanderbilt's got his first basket. Well, the defense allowed that one. He had a clear path to the cup. Right outside. Let's go with a three. Denwitty with a rebound. The Lakers have gone three of three to begin the second. Now the Lakers moving it up. The three from Prince. Here's Vanderbilt. Back to Vincent. Wood outside. Robinson against Dinwiddie. And there's the lob. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. And you've got to be in awe of incredible defensive efforts like this. Yeah, just some terrific effort there. And you know the whole team will get an energy boost off a block like that one. For Miami, they've gone 2 of 4 here in the second quarter. Nice move. Here's Bryant. Pass to Jaquez. Here's the screen by Bryant. Here's Robinson. He's covered by Dinwiddie. Here's the 3. The Lakers with a rebound. Here's Vanderbilt. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Had he played to stop that easy layup right there. I mean, make him earn it at the line. It's a small piece of real estate on the court. But aside from shots at the rim, the corner three. Now the most common shot in the NBA. And arguably the most efficient shot in the game. Obviously dunks and free throws are what you want most. But 22 feet away instead of 23-9. That half step closer, B.A., is making a difference in the shooting numbers. And a little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the second quarter. It's Denwitty on the wing. Robinson defending. A shot from the high post. Dinwiddie, no good. Well, mid-range is where he makes the money. So when the D's slow to get out on him, always surprising to see him miss 
from there. Throw it down on the breakaway jam. Well, Torian Prince is strong, but he's also got big, powerful hands and pried that one away. Outside Richardson. Pass to Bryant. After missing his first attempt, now one for two. And with his height and his touch, he can be deadly from mid-range. That's a staple of his offensive attack and proving once again he can do some damage from that area. Here's Vincent driving in. Dinwiddie outside. The Lakers got to get one up. Late clock. They get the rebound to the right side. And here's Vanderbilt from the arc. That one misses. He's one for three. Miami has gone one of four from three-point land here in the second. Dinwiddie with a rebound. For Los Angeles, they've gotten four of their first nine shots to go here in the second. Snatched up! Second shot opportunity. Out to the wing. To the middle. And the basket by Wood. And the Lakers lead by four. I mean, so wiry. It's got nice touch, too. Wood's real effective around the hoop. I just love the aggressive finish. Now, I'm thinking he's sending a strong message with that jam. Vincent passes to Wood. Vanderbilt inside. Guarded by Richardson. Here's Vincent. Hasn't gotten one to fall yet. Here's Denwitty. Misses off the left iron. Miami has gotten three of their seven threes to find the net in this matchup. And then Bryant with the dunk. And Bryant getting ahead of the pack. Los Angeles has gone five of ten from beyond the three-point line in this game. The three from Prince. Knocks it down from distance. Prince has gotten himself on the board with a three there. And that's an intentional foul. I mean, I'm just not sure what he was thinking right there. I mean, he needs to get his head in the game. Right on the right side. And here's Bryant outside. Oh, he got it up in time, but it wouldn't fall for him. And a pretty tightly contested game here as we end the first half. The Lakers on top. They lead by three. And we'll see you back here after the break. Third quarter action in just a bit. Check it out, Los Angeles. At this point, you got to take every team you're up against as a test. Asking yourself, what can we do? Well, as we check out the results of the first half for the Lakers, it's been neck and neck. This is why coaches tell their guys, always be ready. And that'll do it for us. We've got second half action for you. And if the next couple of quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. Miami trailing. And so in the game for the Lakers, D'Lo and Reeves are the backcourt duo. It's LeBron at power forward with AD as the center. And it's Achimura in at the small forward position. What vision from Rozier there. Seeing his teammate was wide open and making the right pass. Here's Reeves. Takes it inside. Hey, in six attempts, he's made five. Talk about efficiency. <laughs> A great move. I mean, the defense has no response. Well, just ripping through right there as he, he finds the open spot and gets right through there. High basketball IQ play. And it's the Heat with the ball. Here's Butler, and count the basket. He was fouled, and he's going to the line for one more. That's good from Butler. Always one of the hardest workers on his team. Jimmy Butler knows how to win. The three from Russell. It's hauled in by the Heat. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. And what makes Tyler Hero so dangerous, Brent, is his ability to catch 
fire from range. Yeah, I would say, Grant, sometimes it's an inferno with Tyler Hero, the way he can get it going. And he can rain down threes. He's got a pull-up game. He can get quickly into double digits. Pass to Jovic. Butler against Hachimura. Butler goes at the rim. Yeah, Jimmy determined there just to get inside and fight for an opportunity to get an attempt up. That's good from Butler. Butler hits them both. At this point, you might as well go ahead and chalk up the points when he's at the free throw line. Pretty much automatic. And so it's Butler who brings up the ball for the Heat. Two-point game. Out of bio. No good. And after burying three straight shot opportunities, finally a miss there. Still feeling the momentum, though. The Heat have gotten three or four shots to fall so far in the third. Out to the right wing. Pass to Jovic. There's the drive. Good. And the assist goes to Adebayo. Jovic has got 14 points. And force feeding the ball inside. I mean, no reason to go away from what's working. Here's Hachimura. And it's slammed in by Hachimura. And that's a solid flush from Hachimura. Here's Jovic. Russell with the rebound. Los Angeles has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. Offensive rebound. Hachimura outside. Here's Reeves. And that's good from 17 feet. Reeves has got four points in the quarter. Well, Hachimura not known as a playmaker, but unselfish play at his part of his game. you got to love his unselfishness, and you know his coach does as well. Well, not just coach, but you can see it in the teammates, the way that they look at him, they appreciate it when he shares the ball like that. The defense is tough as it comes right there. He's a hard man to deny when he gets the ball to the rim. And out of bio slams it in. Now you try your best defensively to push Bam away from the rim. That's easier said than done. Right side, Russell takes the three, sends it home from three-point land. He has six. That's just a lapse right there. No matter what, somebody has to be there and get a hand up in the shooter's face. Out of bio passes to Jovic. Rozier outside. The three. Rebound by the Lakers. And there's a minute 45 left in the third quarter. Russell to pass to Davis. Out of bounds as Los Angeles keeps possession. And a look here at the scoring trend over the last several months for Rui Achimura. He's been on a tear offensively these past few months. And you know how much they love the extra points he provides. He's been shouldering a bigger load recently, and I think he's just getting started. So Miami ends up going with a new group. Here's Vanderbilt. Chance there to take the lead, but a miss. Practically a block. <laughs> Good, strong challenge. Yeah, altering the shot just as long as there's a miss, that kind of energy not wasted. It's pretty much not how they want to defend the three-point line. Somebody's got to shadow him out there. Here's Vincent. Hits the trifecta. Vincent's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. And both teams running long-range plays that are working. Well, both of them looking towards the three-point line. And I like to see that, especially when the results are made buckets. First team foul. Fifty-nine seconds left in the third. Vincent passes to Vanderbilt. Back to Vincent. And he gets that one. Vincent's got his second bucket of the night. The defense couldn't collapse quickly enough. Wright finds Bryant. Launches it. Prince grabs the miss. You gotta love how they've been crashing the boards. Fighting hard for every miss. Here's Denwitty. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. It goes on Duncan Robinson. And it's tied up with that one. Shooting for Los Angeles. And now they lead as the free throw drops in for him. Miami has gone only one of three from deep here in the third. Pass to Bryant. To the inside. Stolen by Dinwiddie. 
Now the Lakers moving it up. Two second difference between shot and game clock. Wood passes to Dinwiddie. Here's the floater. Can't connect from short range. Right up top. Driving inside. Here's Bryant. Count it. Bryant's got six points. A hard-fought matchup. Seven lead changes thus far. And these teams have been sparring from the get-go. Neither able to land the knockout blow. And we've reached the end of the third quarter. Just a terrific game thus far. It's the Heat leading by a... And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist to the game. Talk about painting a magnificent picture with that dive. Just a great decision and a perfect delivery. Yeah, those are the kind of plays that you want to put on a canvas. Just beautiful basketball. And it's been a very competitive game so far as we get rolling here in quarter number four. They've got Duncan Robinson, Thomas Bryant out there with Josh Richardson. Then it's DeLon Wright, and it's Jaquez in at the three. That's the group in the game for the Heat. Here's Bryant, back to Wright. Outside Richardson. And there's another one for the Heat. <laughs> Win or lose, this is the fight you want to see from your players. A great example out here of just a, a no-quit team continuing to compete until the final buzzer. Ooh, good defensive intensity, but you have to stay in control always. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for Miami. They've been slippery getting into the lane all game long, putting that help defense to the test. Well, looking at the stat sheet, I could just see here tonight sharing the basketball. The stat that comes up most is assists. So sometimes you have to look for your teammate. That makes things happen. They've done it. The Lakers making a switch here. Anthony Davis, he's checked in for Wood. James comes in for Vanderbilt. Reeves is checked in for Dinwiddie. And D'Angelo Russell subbed in for Vincent. Time called here. The Heat decide to talk it over. So Miami ends up going with a new group. And the Lakers also making a switch. Hachimura's checked in for Prince. All right, let's get a report from Ali. Well, over the break, I listened in on Eric Spolster's huddle. First and foremost, he wants to see more points in the break. He asked his team, where's the urgency? We know what we can do in transition. Now let's go out and do it. We'll see if they can pick up the tempo, guys. And Ali, thanks. That's been typical of their performance today. They're sharing the ball and creating good shots. Pass to James. Oh, two vicious points from the King. Uh, still a force, LeBron looking ageless on that one. And here's Adebayo. Rozier outside. He takes it in. Hero outside. And Davis with the block. No surprise why AD has led the league in blocks before. And slam dunk by James. I just love the aggressive finish. I'm thinking he's sending a strong message with that jam. Up top, Rozier. Rebound collected by Anthony Davis. Uh, for him, it's harder to miss that shot than it is to make that shot. I think he was anticipating a bit of a bump there. Now, he was terrific shooting the ball in the first half, but he looks a little bit slower out there. Possibly leg tired here in the second half. You expect he's going to find a way to pull through in the clutch. Pass to Russell. Jacks up a three. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Adebayo. Russell deciding where to go with it. Six to shoot to the paint. Davis. And Davis slams it home. Awesome job by AD to get the ball in a favorable spot. That's most anywhere, but comes up big with that basket. And it's obvious how much Rozier loves coming up huge for his team. Capable of nailing big-time shots. Reeves, the pass to Achimura. The three from Russell. That's in there. Davis with the assist. Well, D'Angelo Russell not scared of the big moment. Rozier finds out a bio. 
Left side, Butler. And again, Miami with a triple. Man, no question. Jimmy Butler all the way. Here's Reeves. He's guarded by Hero. Reeves, the pass to James. There's the triple. Miami grabs the miss. Fourth quarter of play, and over three and a half minutes have gone by now. Hero for three. Rebound collected by Anthony Davis. Davis has got his fourth rebound in this one. Oh, got that bucket in no time at all. And the Lakers lead by four. And Hachimura ready to deliver for his team. Jovic passes to Hero. Hachimura against Butler. And down it goes. Two points. Butler's got 24 points. Jimmy Butler is one of the respected guys when it comes to these moments to play in the clutch. Now, here is James. Defense is right there. Hachimura against Butler. Here's James. It falls! Wow. That takes steady nerves right there. <laughs> Not backing down from this moment here. When the game is close, he kicks it up enough. And stolen by Adebayo! Jovic passes to Adebayo. Stolen by Davis. It's Reeves with the drive. And it's good. Fought through contact. Hit the shot. And will go to the line. At this point, it just feels like it's over. Do you want to keep expending energy or do you want to start thinking about the next one? Rozier against Russell. Rozier with it. So we see the late.
couldn't be considered front runners for the title. Look at the 76ers starting group. The pairing up front is Harris and Embiid. Maxi out there with Lowry, and it's Oubre in at the small four. And for the Heat, the wingman, it's Hero and Butler. Then there's Terry Rozier. Then it's Bam Adebayo. And it's Jovic in at the four spot. Conference rivals, Greg, butting heads in this one. How does that raise the stakes here? Well, both teams want this one bad. And, and a chance to prove they're the dominant squad. I, I think it's going to get pretty heated at some point here tonight. And now Philadelphia on the break. Here's Maxi And slam dunk by Maxi. Maxi taking up that airspace, doing a nice job, just bouncing off the floor there. Here's Rozier. Kicks it out to Hero. And it's on a bio in the corner. Outside Butler, Oubre with the steal. And now it's Lowry running. Here we go. All the way if he can. Connects from three-point range. Maxi's got five pounds. Oh, great feed by Lowry. He'd rather pick up an assist than score a bucket. Here's Jovic, guarded by Harris. Back to Rogier. Puts up a three. It's good from long range. Hey, I saw that coming from a mile away. I tell you, Rozier wanted to rise to the challenge of their last three to see who owns the arc. So when we're talking about team identity, uh, Greg, what would you say is the Miami Heat's identity? Tough nose, aggressive, and hard working. Uh, that's what attracted guys like Jimmy Butler here in the first place. And that's the style of ball they want to continue playing. Philadelphia shooting their first free throw of the night here. And one of the highlights last year for this group was the fact that they were so efficient from the charity strike. That's a huge factor. You know, they would love to post a similar percentage again this season. I mean, I think that's safe to say they'd love to shoot free throws as well as they did a year ago. That is super efficient getting in deep and then taking advantage. Hero against Maxi. And slam dunk by Maxi. Boy, the defense was looking for something different there. Maxi kept it himself off the pick that time. Rozier finds Adebayo. And the rejection by Embiid. And that's out of bounds. Miami will retain possession. Hero from long range. It's hauled in by the 76ers. They went to Miami for their last meeting with the Heat and came out with a win. Well, you look at the points they produced in that game. Great adjustments on the offensive end. Well, it's really hard to stop them when they're in a groove offensively, and they were in a comfort zone all game long in that one. Oh, big time put back there. What a great motor on this guy. There is no one who goes after those rebounds harder. And night in and night out, that's what he provides. The 76ers leading by five. Oubre outside. And finished off by Oubre. And the leaping ability of Oubre Jr. When he gets inside, this guy is determined to finish. Here's Rozier. That one falls. His second basket of the game. He's now two for three. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. Jovic passes to Autobio. Hero against Maxi. Autobio, and Autobio throws it down. And this is too easy for Adebayo. Once he's close to the rim, he is going to damage it. And it's the Heat on the break. Good ball movement here by Miami. Pass to Jovic. The kick out to Rozier. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Kyle Lowry picks one up there. Rozier doing a nice job working himself through contact to draw the foul. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. Scoring breakdown for Philadelphia. 
everything working for them inside so far, guys. Tons of high-quality shots that they're knocking down inside. And also have to bring up their passing game. They, they've been moving the ball with great precision so far and creating great looks for their teammates. Count it. Well, Maxi continues improving as a facilitator, finding these opportunities to get the ball moving. Steps back. Butler kicks to Adebayo. Jovic passes to Butler. Now Rogier. And here is Butler. That's good. And it's Rogier with the assist. And Butler's ball skills now pretty tight for a wing guy. He's excellent at creating for himself on offense. Now here's Maxi. Nine points in the game so far. To the inside. Here's Harris. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Harris has got his second bucket tonight. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now they've allowed from point blank range. Can't happen. He got it up, and it's good. But hold on, the officials may want to look at that one on the replay, Mon. And indeed, the previous play is under the and they're they're making sure on this one even though it may not matter in the grand scheme but the replay process is faster than ever the ruling on the floor is confirmed I make the call we're seeing what they're seeing with the best possible angles and so it's still it and hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far halfway through the first half in this one and the guys, what's, uh, what's your take so far in Philadelphia? Well, the offense is clicking, and they seem to have seized the momentum here early on. Yeah, you know, I agree. No warm-up needed. They came in on fire and have already built a nice lead. So with Butler sitting on the bench, this is who Eric Spolster has on the floor. They've got Bryant. DeWan Wright is out there with Duncan Robinson. Then there's Richardson, and it's Hawkins in at the three slot. Well, Clark, even with all their roster movement, all the player moves they've made, the 76ers have managed to have sustained success. You know what, Kevin? I agree. Their roster has gone through a lot of changes recently with key players being moved, which makes it even harder to sustain success. But they found a way to keep winning. Well, we're clearly in the very early stages of the season. Uh, Clark, in your playing days, how important was it that your team got off to a good start hey look you want to start well there's no denying that but it always isn't about wins and losses it's about how you're playing early on and also what kind of chemistry and habits are you establishing for the long run and it's out of bounds and they say last touch by bryant so it's philadelphia now four point game yeah, that's a tough call right there, and really a tough break for the Heat. No problem for me with that call. I mean, he was still sliding right there. And he drives in. Melton passes to Martin. Melton kicks to Martin. Just five to shoot. Three-pointer heel. It's hauled in by Richardson. Right, right side. There's the dish to Bryant. Robinson for three. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. And if you're the guy who has to guard him, it is never going to be an easy night for you. Healed. Can't hit. And it's right with the ball for Miami. They trail by one. So they take the lead. Robinson's got six in the quarter. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. No doubt he's struggling right now from the field. Let's see if he can get it going this quarter. Bryant the pass to Robinson. It's going by heel. And here's the fast break and Bamba leading the way. And it's Martin missing. So for the Heat, the last game a loss to the Mavericks. Robinson misses. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. And guys, that's exactly the kind of high-impact defense they want to see out of him. And with an update from the sidelines, let's check in with David Aldridge. Thanks, Kevin. The NBA, of course, is so loaded, it's not easy to come out on top. Joel Embiid said, for us to be able to win, we need to try to be perfect. I need to play at the highest level possible. Our shooters and defense have to do their job. It's tough, 
but it's fun. I guess you have to enjoy the journey as well, Kevin. Yep, the journey, right, David, is the reward. That's for sure. Dave, thanks. Robinson, that's good. The defense a step slow, and you can see the results. That's three in a row from out there now, so they've got to do a better job contesting. Pass to Melton. It's tipped and stolen by Wright. And another basket for Miami. It all started with the pass. That's what coaches love to see. Ball movement. Matum finds Melton. Over right. Yep, it goes in, and the Miami lead is cut down to one on the bucket for Melton. Whether he's on or off the ball, Melton's a threat. It's Bryant, high post. He's against Bamba. Robinson passes to Richardson. And it's Richardson slamming it down. Oh, just solid on the one-handed slam. And guys, when it's a tight ball game like this, he's the guy they want with the ball. Somebody you can count on. He is an extremely reliable finish. Here's Hockey. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. A steal. The pass to Bryant. Plenty of space. And another basket for Miami. And guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for the Heat. Well, they're really mucking things up for the opposition. Racking up steal after steal. Just not letting them develop any kind of offensive rhythm. And, you know, another thing that's been working for them tonight, scoring off turnovers, points off miscues. They've been converting any mistakes at the other end. Strong move to the 10, trying to get his guys going. Hard not to get motivated, G.A., right when your teammate makes that kind of play. Yeah, you know, when you're looking to close the gap, you need guys who will take it upon themselves to step up, take the initiative and make something happen. Yep, you know, after a scoreless first period, he's really turned it up a notch, building some momentum. Right, this is to Richardson. Driving the lane, Bamba with the block. Boy, great timing and awareness there from Bamba. He sends shots away on the daily. Heald finds Batum. Sixteen seconds left in the first half of the game. Three-pointer. They grab their own miss. And he hits it to tie the game up. Heald's got 11 points. A guy like Buddy out hustles other players on the floor. He gets inside and there he finishes strong. It's all tied in Miami. It's time now to go courtside. Thanks so much, David. And we'll step away briefly, but get you right back out here for the start of the third quarter after this break. Looking at Philadelphia. Game two will be at the crib, at home, but not tonight. They're on the road. They want to start off the season. Now turning our focus to the Miami Heat, this game has been a nail biter. You love what their second unit has done, Major. And that is our. Second half of basketball upon us. We may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game it's been so far. Really an incredible game from Buddy Heal. He just loved the patience in that first half. Waited until he got the look he wanted. Well, you know what, guys? It was all about efficient offense, not rushing things. Taking your time, finding the best shot on every possession. And on the floor for Nick Nurse as we get into the second half. The pairing up front is Harris and Embiid. Axie out there with Lowry, and it's Oubre in at the three, the small forward. Here's Maxi. Good on the triple. 12 points for him. Every time Maxi steps on the floor, you expect a big scoring night. Tyrese can explode offensively at any time. Lowry finds Harris. Oubre against Hero. And finished off by Oubre. That's a stomach punch, guys. Mm. Turn it over and give him a free run to the bucket. Oh, you're so right. No question who has the momentum now. You know, those kinds of plays can be difference makers. Game changers, momentum shifters, especially in a close contest where one or two possessions can impact the outcome. Philadelphia moving the ball around. 
Lowry kicks to Harris. Passes it to Embiid. Back to Harris. With the drive. And slam dunk by Harris. Big man coming through. Have to enjoy watching Harris attack the rack with that kind of ferocity. Takes a three. And that's good. Terry Rozier for three. Rozier's got the game tied up here for the Heat. Guys, he's one of the main reasons this game is tied up. I mean, he's done his part to keep them in it. It's good. Nice touch there from Maxi. Maxi's got 14. Those defenders just look a little bit gassed. I mean, they're getting pushed around on that low block. Back to Adebayo. And Adebayo throws it down. Fundamentals, guys, using the one-hand slam. Well, he makes the basics look pretty exceptional. Now, I'd suggest that he stay with those basics because we've got a tight one here tonight. Wow, five straight buckets coming out of half. They are rolling. Butler with the ball. Maxi covering. They set the pick. Hero from long range. And the Heat, another three. And a big concern for players and coaches is the consistency of officiating. Greg, do you like that argument? It's tough when one night something is a foul and the next night it isn't. Uh, there's some gray area, obviously. And it'd be good for the league to try and clarify how they want things called. And Jovic gets it to go. And Rozier is seeing the floor that well makes everything easier for him and his team. Maxi into the lane. He kicks to Embiid. Over Adebayo. And the baseline jumper no good. You, you almost have to assume he's going to knock those down when he is that open. For the lead. And foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. That one on Maxi. Nice work to get it inside and draw the contact. Exactly. The defense determined not to allow the easy layup right there. They'll settle for making him earn the free throws. Here's Lowry. It's Autobio with the rebound. Yeah, he just flat out tricked that one, missed it, and has no one to blame but himself. Hits the three-point bomb. Autobio's got five points now in the quarter. Butler draws the attention and then kicks to a teammate. Perfection. And the 76ers decide to take their first time out here. Going with the whole new group on the floor. And some changes here for the 76ers. The 76ers trail by five. To the left side wing. Robinson against Heald. Back to Bamba. And the dunk by Bamba. Bamba's showing you a sense for when to cut. Really well done. He's got agility and excellent size in the pick and roll. They get it again. I hit the pass to Hawkes. Good, and the assist goes to Bryant. Hawkes has got five now. Yeah, those are starting to add up, guys. Up their last five baskets, three have been tripled. And Batum kicks to Melton. Driving in, out of bounds. Miami takes possession. Here's the 2K leaderboard with last season's best free throw shooting teams. The 76ers, number one. The Heat in second. You're not going to find many teams that were as polished from the free throw line as these two clubs a season ago. The Heat leading by six. Right, the pass to Bryant. The kick out to right. Pass to Hockett. Six to shoot. For the three, and again, Miami with the triple. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. It's hard for me to watch this. I mean, the defense practically giving them those shots. And he goes in for the dunk. Yeah, I mean, maybe could have tried for a more memorable dunk than that one. And we know he's capable of those memorable ones. Hey, they've got a nice, comfortable lead here, fellas. Might as well keep it simple. Do it a plain, simple one-hander, just like pound cake. And so it's... 
And while we can, now let's take a look at today's State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, and I, I like the fact we get to see this pass one more time. A magnificent feed. And you love to see your off guard taking over the playmaking duties with this much skill. Yeah, platinum level dime dropping there, fellas. Accurate and on time. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. So with Butler sitting on the bench, this is who Eric Spolster has on the floor. Ryan is out there with Josh Richardson. Then it's Duncan Robinson. Then it's DeWan Wright. And it's Jaquez in at the three spot. And right, here we go. Shot on the wing. And there's Richardson on the assist by Wright. Wright's got his third assist on the night. Knocked away. Heel kicks to Melton. From beyond the arc, and then some. Melton's got five points in the quarter. Great to see Melton has the confidence to even take that shot. Bryan finds Wright. The kick out to Bryan. Uncovered, and he hits the jumper for two. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Clearly just an example of a different mindset between these teams. Heel the pass to Martin. On the wing, Melton. Over right. And it's Miami with the rebound. So they foul intentionally. Yeah, not sure what that was about. I mean, talk about a brain cramp. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, completely a brain fade. I don't know where that came from. Just lost sense of time and the situation. And the 76ers with a completely new group now. And now the latest from our reporter, David Aldridge. Well, guys, during the last break, I listened to Eric Spolster address the team. He reminded his team, we're up. All the pressure is on them. Let's just keep playing our game. Makes sense because they've got a nice lead late in this game. Back to you guys. Thank you, David. And Jovic gets it to go. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. You know, the defense has really been kept off balance because of the outstanding passes. Four straight field goals have been made off an assist. And it's Harris off the drive. Three-pointer, Lowry. It's hauled in by Hero. A heat leading by 12. Pass to Jovic. The kick outside to Butler. Shoots from 14. That one's rebounded by Embiid. Embiid's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Here's Maxi. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. You know, Maxi finds all kinds of ways to score, and he knows only one speed. Flat out, all out. There's Hero with the three. Tyrese Maxi grabs the miss. And even with good coverage defensively that time, he has confidence to drill the three. Harris, that falls. Nice feed that time from Kyle Lowry. Lowry's got three assists now in this one. There's Hero with the three. Buries the long-range jumper. It's been this way since halftime. Tremendous production from beyond the arc. Boy, it's been a three-point barrage. They came out gunning. They have not stopped. No question, he got bumped on that shot. Yeah, the officials didn't need to talk that one over. It was obvious. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for Miami. Guys, the D hasn't had an answer for the three-point shooting, which is why they continue to just fire away from deep. And another thing they've been exceptional at is their passing. On-target ball movement has gotten them a lot of assists tonight. Hero against Maxi. Here's Butler. A shot from the low post is good. And it's six points for Butler. Not an easy shot that time from Butler fighting through that contact, but his strength worked for him. You take a risk with those long passes. They're lucky the D couldn't collect them. Anthony Mel. He's jacked in for Philadelphia. No one near Maxi as he lets it fly. And the three off target. And I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. Gets it to go. That one good from Autobio. And inside is where Bam is at his best. He knows how to outwork the other guys in the paint. Miami leading by 13. There's Hero with the three. 
And the Heat, another three. And, and so just rolling to the finish line now in what has been a very confident-looking performance for the Heat. And they're fully in control now, but there were some tense moments, I thought, for them uh, throughout this game. Uh, listen, they certainly weren't coasting, despite what the score looks like. I love the way they came together, though, when everything started to look a little dire and really put the hammer down. And it'll go down as their first official win of the new year. And we watched one guy all night long, guys, and, and look at the stats just confirms what a dominant game he had. What a night tonight it was for Tyler Hero. You can't look back at too many major moments in this game and not see his imprint put all over it. Picked off in midair. And oh, here we go. Harris, nobody back. Oubre can't get it to go. And it's Miami's ball. They're on a 14-6 run. Here's Jovic, covered by Oubre. Here's Jovic. And so...
Extra tactical angle here. Both teams like to use their benches to create favorable matchups. Yes, two smart coaches here. And look, coaching matters in this league. And so we're going to see which one is going to put together a better strategy. A look at the 76ers starting group. Harris and Embiid are in the middle. Tyrese Maxey is out there with Kyle Lowry. And it's Oubre in at the three slot. Now here's Russell. Gets some space and buries the jumper. So crafty off the dribble. Russell stops on a dime and gets the separation he needs. And Maxey, here we go. And Richard, last season, Al Gasol became the 12th player to have his jersey retired by the Lakers. And look, Al Gasol was the number one pick in my draft class. He was rookie of the year. For me, he deserves to be up there with those greats. His 16 jersey hangs in the rafters right next to Kobe Bryant's. Their partnership, their brotherhood. Kobe was the first one to say that his jersey belongs in those rafters, and they wouldn't have won those two championships without him. A volume three-point shooter. The coaching staff encourages Russell to fire away. Lowry, good. The floater is so tough to defend against. Nothing defenders can really do but shake their head. Now, here is James. Davis from long range. And another three for the Lakers. Defensively, you have to stay connected to him on the perimeter. Pass to Harris. And just over a minute played here to start the game. Embiid misses. And the defense got away with one there. I mean, that's a shot he typically makes. Russell finds Achimura. Back to Russell. Fires from deep. Can't get it to drop. For Philadelphia, they've gone one for three so far. Here's Oubre. That's good. And so Lowry with the assist. A title-winning point guard. Kyle Lowry making the right choice there. Davis. And it's Harris with the rebound. The 76ers have gone just two for four from the floor. Green by Embiid. From downtown, Harris, and that one's good. Harris normally steps into shots that he wants. He has a high quality of shot selection. 4-3. Outside for Russell. Three-pointer. Joel Embiid with the board. And the defense really respects his shooting ability, and they showed it with that tight coverage. Los Angeles has gone two of five from deep. You know, what's amazing about LeBron is his total effect on the game on and off the court, Richard. Yeah, he makes his teammates better. He makes the league better, and he has been a champion for social justice. Now here's Embiid. Turned in an outstanding game against Detroit. And he dunks it down. Nice pass by Embiid, smartly taking advantage of a wide-open man. Here's Davis, and Davis slams it home. Give up a little size, but has to bounce to hold his own. Here's Maxi. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Just taking it right to the rim, and no one was there to greet him. Easy possessions like that literally are just a gift. You just dream of them. He'll gladly take those. Ooh, took him no time at all to get that one. Davis has got eight. And so it's Maxi who brings up the ball for the Philadelphia 76ers. The Lakers beat them last time when these two met in Los Angeles. They were out-hustled on the boards the last time these teams met. The three from Russell. And another three for the Lakers. They're getting torched on the perimeter. Four of the last five buckets have been threes. And Maxi is just terrific on the drive. His speed and ability to finish is different in so many ways. Pass to Russell. 111 left in the first. Off target from outside. And the shooter had very little space on that attempt. I'm sure they'll think twice about shooting against him next time. Embiid passes to Harris. Shoots. Rebound by the Lakers. Davis has got four rebounds in the game. Hachimura outside. Oubre with a steal. There's the steal. Puts up a deep three. Rebound by the 76ers. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. The three from Russell. The shot's good on the assist by James. He's got 11. 
great find by Braun using his basketball IQ. If you don't understand how smart he is, just ask him. Now, here is James. He had a 33-point outing in their last game against Golden State. And Davis gets it to go. <laughs> I just love the ball move. Here's Harris. And the layup is good. Outstanding execution through contact. That's one of the things that's underrated about Harris. He is six foot nine. Here's James. Oh, great P that time from Harris. And so it's D'Angelo Russell making things happen for. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we played through one quarter of action so far. All right, guys, what do you think so far about the offensive approach for the Lakers? They've really been dialed in from deep. This is a team that has a ton of confidence in their outside shooting ability. And I've also really liked how aggressive they've been in the open floor. I mean, when they see a chance to push it, they go for it. We've got Gabe Vincent, Christian Wood out there with Jared Vanderbilt, then there's Prince, and it's Denwitty in at the two. That's the Laker five. And Grant, these days, more and more teams emphasize the importance of switch defense. It's so true in the modern NBA, B.A. Every team has to be able to switch to take away a lot of the action of the offensive team. So having defenders who can guard multiple players on the court is a must. That's 10 straight points they've given up in the painted area. Huh. Left side heel. On target from range. This is healed at his best. A major threat to torch defenses off the catch. Bamba against Wood. Pass to Vincent. Jacks up a three. Nice start for him. Sinking his first shot. Man, this is just fun. These teams are trading threes back and forth. This is today's NBA. Hey, we see this kind of exchange more often than not. Now here's Heald. He had an 18-point outing in their last game against Detroit. He's more than chipped in on the glass as well. Just a tremendous effort last time out. His hang time on the rim puts a sweet cherry on top, B.A. It's a close game, and those displays of explosiveness can jumpstart a team. Back to Vanderbilt. Nice assist and nice finish. Solid play all the way around. Got it in deep, and that's how you do it. Batum finds Bamba to the inside. Melton outside. Pass to Batum. And the layup is good off the glass. And I like how Batum takes shots that come within the offensive schemes. A high IQ offensive player. Lots of winning going on in Philadelphia. Six straight playoff appearances, Richard. Yeah, they're the masters of the mid. Their game, that's just the way it is. No finals appearances. And look, that's got to be top of mind. East is tough, but they've got the talent to go far, but they just keep having mid-seasons. And now the Sixers on the break. Here's Heald. And he takes that one up and powers it through. Just exploding up the floor. Heald gets out ahead in transition to secure a bucket. Stolen by Melton. Heald against Dinwiddie. Batum outside. And that'll be Philadelphia's ball as it goes out of bounds. Sixers able to keep the possession. He clipped the ball there, but not enough to nab the steal. That's fine. You love the effort. Not making things easy for the opposition on offense. And here's Dinwiddie from the arc. Rebound by the 76ers. Now here's Heald. Oh, no good. Had a chance to take the lead. For three, Dinwiddie. Count it. And that shot gets him in the books. He's one for three. They're unafraid to let it rip from downtown. Extending their lead. Melton. Count it. One for one to start the game. They have no answer defensively inside. Los Angeles has gone 7 of 14 from the perimeter in this one. Here's Wood. And the basket's good. Off the assist from Dinwiddie. And the Lakers lead by four. Have to be impressed with Wood's tenacity from the interior. Outstanding work down there. And talk about imposing your will. That's ten straight points in the paint. Here's Vincent. He has six. 
Let's the three fly. And the Lakers hit again from deep. This defense is getting spaced out. Three of the last five buckets have come from way beyond the arc. From deep, Melton. Another three for Philadelphia. And what kind of defense was that? You can't give up wide open threes like that. What are you doing? Here's Prince. The rebound by Bamba. One reason this game is so tight is because both teams are hitting the boards with reckless abandon. <laughs> They're not messing around. Five of their last six buckets have come from the interior. Vanderbilt with a screen. Dinwiddie passes to Wood. And another three for the Lakers. Again, the stroke looking good from deep for Wood. Pass to Bamba. Now here's Batum. Going inside. Ooh, he's looking comfortable now. Three for three. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. Wood left side. They get it back. Here's Vanderbilt. And Vanderbilt slams it in. <laughs> and when the game is this close, you have to go all out. He certainly understands his role, huh? When the shot goes up, just crashes the offensive glass. He's just giving them everything he has. It's why his teammates appreciate and enjoy playing with him. Bamba finds Martin. Just five on the clock. Back to Bamba. Melton outside. Let's it go from deep. That one is off. And the first half comes to an end. We've got a close game going here. The Lakers on top, up three. And we'll be right back after halftime for the start of the third quarter. See you in just a bit. Their defense is about as soft as hush puppies, giving the offense buffet, all they can eat. Speaking of, and now let's take a moment, the fan. And that is going to do it. Second half of basketball is upon us, and we may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game we've seen so far. You know, D'Angelo Russell has been exceptional here, guys. Through the first two quarters, he's been on fire. Explosive offensive performance. If they don't change their approach in the second half, eh, let's just say his success will continue. Second half underway. Here's who Nick Nurse has got on the floor. Harris and Embiid are in the middle. Kyle Lowry out there with Tyrese Maxey. And it's Oubre in at the small forward position. The Lakers with the ball. Following the score by Philadelphia. And that one's good. James. Hard to win games when you allow clean looks from the perimeter. Embiid passes to Lowry. Back to Embiid. Launches a three. Davis with a rebound. Davis has got six rebounds here tonight. In an otherwise sterling career, Anthony Davis has often been haunted by the injury bug, RJ. Yeah, but he's taking it in stride. He always manages to figure out a way to come back strong. And when he is on the floor, he is delivering the goods. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Russell. About a minute played here in the second half. Lowry, the pass to Embiid. Shoots over Davis. That one's wide left. That was a good look for him from mid-range, but just couldn't make the defense pay. Russell attacking. Embiid against Hachimura. Fires the three. And another three for the Lakers. A smart decision maker with a versatile skill set. Hachimura always takes the shots that he's comfortable with. Here's Oubre. And down it goes. Jam that one home. A dynamic finish. Then decides to hang out a little for good measure. <laughs> yep, that's the exclamation point right there. That one's good from Achimura on the assist by Davis. Achimura's got five points in the quarter. Embiid against Davis. Now here's Oubre. Defense right on him. Off target at the rim. Achimura, the pass to James. Here's Reeves. 
Maxi covering. And the Lakers hit again from deep. Their offense has been unstoppable, just firing on all cylinders. They've had great execution, and what stands out is that they're just taking what the defense gives them, not forcing anything. Lowry, good. You know, you kind of expect the big threes like that from Lowry. Here's Davis. And finished off by Davis. Ooh, he's earning his keep offensively, a key part of their winning effort at this point. Here's Maxi. Ooh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. Everyone in the building saw the obvious contact. That free throw's good from Maxi. What I love most about Maxi is his aggressive attitude. When he's out there, he keeps his foot on the gas pedal. Two-part equation. You have to be aggressive enough to get to the line, then talented enough to sink it. And it's a completely new group for the Lakers. All right, a quick look now at how the point totals have looked over the last few months for Kelly Oubre. He's been on a tear offensively these past few months, and you know how much they love the extra points he provides. He's been shouldering a bigger load recently, and I think he's just getting started. Pass to Vanderbilt. Here's Vincent. Vanderbilt with a screen. Here's Wood. The three is up. Hits a three-pointer. Wood's got eight. As the deep shots continue to fall, you can sense the frustration growing among these defenders. Heel finds Melton. Back to Heel. Batum against Vanderbilt. Batum gets the bucket. Give him eight points now. Not putting his head down. He continues to produce with the team trailing. Vincent passes to Wood. Now Vanderbilt guarded by Batum. The three from Prince. Philadelphia grabs the miss. Bamba's got four rebounds now. Here's Heald. Rebound, the Lakers. Vincent passes to Dinwiddie. Here's Vincent. He's got nine. Pass to Vanderbilt. Snatched away. Pass break, Philadelphia. And the shot counts. He's fouled, and it's a chance for a three-point play. Second team. Known as a volume three-point shooter, Hild is affected both as a starter as well as coming off the bench. 43 seconds left in the third quarter of the game. Here's Vincent. The Lakers with another miss. Philadelphia has gone one of two shooting from the perimeter since halftime. Martin with the bucket. And now just a three-point Laker lead. Keeping pace here. That's an excellent move inside. And Wood with the stuff. Well, Wood's reach and vertical is an effective combination. He gets up over the defense so easily. Batum outside. From outside the arc. Wood grabs the board. And they can run out the clock here. No need to rush it. Yeah, you don't have to be quick. You just have to be deliberate. And this is what it's been since halftime. Remarkable results from downtown. In the modern NBA, you have to hit threes to win games. And they've made that adjustment since the break. <laughs> so sick, the vertical ability. That was flat out awesome. He has that effortless knack for getting to the hoop. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers leading by six as we wrap up the quarter. And a moment now as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. This is the definition of team chemistry. I love to see this kind of communication and connection between teammates leading to the perfect pass. Serving it up on a platter, that is a beautiful dish. And two teammates on the same page? Woo. Well, what a terrific game it's been so far. With this fourth quarter sure to bring more pressure-packed basketball. Torian Prince is out there with Jared Vanderbilt. Then there's Christian Wood 
Then it's Gabe Vincent, and it's Denwitty in at the two-guard spot. That's the Laker five. And the basket by Wood. It's turned into a showdown here. Dueling from distance. Take that, he says. I see your three, and I'll raise you another three. And a little contact never stopped Heal. A committed scorer who knows how to keep his balance on his shot. So both teams changing it up here. The Lakers in the lead. Pass to Reeves. From the arc. The rebound by Embiid. Embiid's got eight rebounds in the game. It hasn't been his best game, but his team is still doing just enough to be up. And the basket by Heel. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. The three from Russell. Nails it from three. Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. And Harris throws it down. Leaving his defender in the absolute dust. Tobias Harris is doing everything right now. Here's Reeves. Guarded by Heel. Shot is good by Reeves. And the Lakers lead by four. In crunch time, trying to get the foul. Oh, 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 wow! Okay, Real! That's, that's what they came for! Wow! Oh, save that for the dunk contest! That flush was so extra! Whether or not this game is close, he's the same guy. Focused on finishing firm at the rim. Melton, he's checked in for Lowry. The Anthony Melton. Embiid against Davis. Russell deciding where to go with it. James, a screen on Melton. Six on the shot clock. Here's Russell. Good. And that makes him six for nine. A quality game for him so far. And shooting-wise, he's been fantastic. Helping to build this lead. Oubre passes to Embiid. Outside heel. Down low. Oh, deflected. James with a steal. Now the Lakers moving it up. Davis finds James. Now here's Russell. Pass to Reeves. Outside Davis. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's James. And the shot no good. A bit short. And so it's Harris with it. He brings it up for the 76ers. Four-point game. Heel passes to Oubre. Here's Embiid. There's the three. Yes, sir! Embiid from distance. Oh, in pressure moments, he's a guy you trust to make big shots. Left side, Russell. Davis from long range. That falls. Nice assist by Russell. Russell's got his fourth assist with that last one. This is where Davis excels. The stakes motivate him to play with reckless abandon. Oh, my gracious. The guy you want to have the ball. Indeed, this man is a superstar. Russell from outside. Pass to Reeves. Right side, Davis. Second chance shot. Embiid with a nice defensive effort. Philadelphia has gone 6 of 14 from the perimeter tonight. And Harris throws it down. And Harris does not back down on these important possessions. He loves coming through for his guys. Pass to Reeves. Now here's Russell. The three. The rebound by Embiid. Philadelphia has gone two of three from beyond the arc here in the fourth. To take the lead. Melton outside. Out to Oubre. And it's out of bounds. The Sixers able to retain possession here. And Philadelphia calls time here. And the Lakers make
making a change here. Dinwiddie's checked in. Haynes checked in for the Sixers. Tyrese Maxey comes in for Melton. And let's send it over to Allie LaForce. I was able to listen in on what Nick Nurse had to say to the team. Coach was blunt with his assistant. He said to throw out everything that happened until now. It is a brand new game, and it's only a few minutes. Leave it out on the floor. Back to you guys. Okay, good stuff. Thank you, Allie. Well, Drew the contact from long range, and he almost got the hoop to fall. Instead, he'll shoot three at the line. Solid half the line. We'll see if the late game pressure affects Maxi. The second one drops, and that brings him within two here. And he nails the third. 34 seconds left to play in the fourth. So it's all come down to this. It's really that time where your leaders must step up. James against Harris. Six to shoot. James, a screen on Maxi. It's stolen by Maxi. To take the lead. Oh, offline! And Tyrese Maxi gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul of the game. Yeah, he tried to gain position, but couldn't quite get there. Now Achimura. And an intentional foul right there. Getting a little desperate at this stage. I mean, the clock's the big factor. He hits the first one. And that'll put him up two. So he gets them both. And it's a three-point game. And those were some big-time shots. Those free throws hoping make this a three-point game. And Philadelphia calls time here. They're behind by three. One second left in the fourth quarter. Guys, your thoughts? No choice but to go for the three. Maybe set up a screen to carve out some space and get a clean look. It's good! It counts at the buzzer! That's how you beat the clock. That's a big-time shot by a big... The time expires. We're going to overtime. And we'll be back right after this. And now we get set for overtime in what has been a stirring contest. and Reeves are the backcourt duo. It's LeBron at power forward with AD as the center. And it's Achimura in at the three, a small forward. A superb transition play from LeBron. Yeah, good instincts by Russell on defense. Using his quickness to his advantage on this end. And Melton, here we go. Here's Bamba. Yep, that one goes. They're going at it on offense. Neither team backing down. Man, this has been a fun one, but look, who doesn't love a high-scoring game? Screen by James. He is so talented. There's very little Russell can't do. It's just about the consistency, but the talent is all there. And he makes a first. And both free throws good for Russell. In a tight game, he is exactly who you wanted at the line. Screen by Bamba. Yield passes to Bamba. Rebound, the Lakers. Davis has got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Count that one. And the Lakers lead by four. On offense, Davis keeps his head up and maintains awareness. That's how he spots a wide-open man. And Maxi, here we go. Embiid passes to Maxi. Another three for Philadelphia. Attacking in a big moment. Maxi is not holding back. Outside Davis from deep. That shot's good. Russell making the play. <laughs> that three-pointer is big. Cancels out the triple at the other end and helps stretch out their lead. And it's Maxi missing. Really thought he had this one. And the defense, they were giving it to him. Russell, that's good. Yeah, a high-profile score since high school. I mean, you have to be impressed with Russell's ability to generate points. From deep, Melton. Rebound, the Lakers. Davis has got rebound number 11. Here's Reeves. Joel Embiid pulls it down. Embiid's got 12 rebounds here tonight. Big-time effort. Here's Heald. 
one falls. Eight of ten and scoring with confidence. This is why you turn to Heald. What a huge moment for him there. Russell attacking. About two minutes into OT now. It's been a good one. Leaves the pass to Davis. And stolen by Bamba. Fast break, Philadelphia. Embiid a screen on Achimura. Melton with the ball. Picked up by James. Embiid misses. Every possession counts for them right now. That's not going to get it done. There's Davis with the three. Sinks the trade. And they just continue to attack, even late in the game, while they're up big. If you want to be great, you have to have that killer instinct. Russell from outside. He drops it from range. And now a 10-point Los Angeles lead. And guys, that's got to be the dagger. This is how you finish a game. And it felt like they just flipped the switch to go on that run and seal the game. Saving their best basketball for the end. Always smart. The Lakers with the ball. Now Los Angeles with it. They're on a 17-7 run. Shot clock at six. From deep three-point land.
Game one of the season, right, Steve? Oh. No other feeling like it. Starting a brand new year. There's so much excitement around the league right now. I love it, Kevin, especially for the fans. They have been waiting for this moment. The energy inside here is amazing. So here's Miami's starting group. The wingmen, it's Hero and Butler. Then there's Terry Rozier. Then it's Bam Adebayo. And it's Jovic in at the four spot. And it's good for two. Hachimura's got the opening bucket of the night here. It's for Los Angeles. And the fireworks begin. Should be an amazing show tonight. How good is it to see the first one go through the net? And the one-hand slam just looks so pretty when it's in his hand. And he's the one doing the slam. I agree. He is smooth as silk, even on a power finish. You know, every year it feels like AD is a little more aware of what the defense is trying to do. Love that pass. Now, Hero hands it from downtown. And that's exactly what he's looking for, draining the triple. Here in and here out, Smitty. The Heat bring energy and commitment to the defensive end. Kevin, the Miami Heat has a strong culture. And they've done a good job bringing in players that match their identity. It's led to a great deal of success. Russell, no luck. Everything worked except for the outcome. You want him to shoot that every time. Adebayo passes to Jovic. Butler in the corner. Here's Jovic, covered by LeBron. And the Heat, another three. Excellent touch from deep. Jimmy Butler looking more comfortable from this area. Russell passes to James. And the dunk by James. And that's the kind of lead pass we've come to expect from him. Passes to Butler from deep. Anthony Davis with the rebound. Lakers have gone three of four from the field to start out the game. Reeves. It's Autobio with the rebound. Miami's gone two or three from deep so far in this game. Shots good by Hero. They have really found a rhythm here early. Four for five to start this game. Shoots the three. Down it goes for his third basket in as many tries. You know, the attention LeBron James demands left his teammate open there, and he found him. You know this, Smitty, for the Lakers, as long as they have LeBron James, they're in a win-now mode, don't you think? Yes, Kevin, and why not? LeBron is still playing at an incredible level, and the Lakers are a franchise that only cares about titles. Reeves gets the bucket. Well, then that's one way he can finish, but far from the only way he gets it done. He's got all kinds of tricks up his sleeve. And stolen by James. And here we go. Russell from long range. This shot can't get past Bam. His reach is just too much. Now about three minutes gone in the first quarter. Pass to Davis. And Davis throws it down. Bam! When AD dumps it, look at the rim. It rocks. Jovic passes to Rozier. Beyond the arc. Rebound the Lakers. Home court didn't seem to help any last time they met. We'll see if it makes a difference this time. Yeah, and their last time out against this club, turnovers really did them in. Just way too many mistakes. A combination of unforced errors and just poor decision-making. They need to be much better in that aspect of the game this time around. They've wasted no time settling into their offense. And down it goes, jamming that one home. For Rozier to be effective, that's just what he has to do. Keep moving, don't sit back, and be passive. A costly foul there. He'll shoot three free throws. Yeah, you, you hate to give up a foul on a three-point attempt. Los Angeles shooting their first free throws of the night right here. And the second free throw, good. One of the greatest players of all time, and LeBron still adds to his game. And he makes all three. We know Greg L.A.'s challenge recently has been finding the right supporting cast for their stars. 
and they're looking for that perfect fit. And sometimes that's all it takes, you know. It's finding those perfect one or two other guys to get you there. And you can't help but pick their defense apart. They're completely in disarray. Nailed from three-point land. He's hot this quarter, getting the shots he wants, and he's delivering. Oh, and a fast break for the Heat. Adebayo finds Rozier. Now, Hero. Here he goes. Bucket number three. He's a perfect three for three to start. The athleticism plus the mobility. Tyler Hero is someone who drives well inside. Great three-point shooting here out of the gate. That makes four makes already from long distance. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Back to Hero. Outside Butler. And it's out of bio in the corner. Just four to shoot. Butler passes to Autobio. And Davis sends it big. Great swat by Anthony Davis, giving this team energy. With four seconds on the clock, LeBron, no good. The defense ready for him on that possession. They had to be because he is so strong in the paint. And so it's the... And for those of you just tuning in, the second quarter of action is where we're at right now. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for the Lakers. Right now, it's their passing game, and it's been on point. Doing a great job of moving it around and getting the ball to their shooters. Oh, man. Their mid-range jumper also has been on fire. Tough to beat a group of guys shooting with that much confidence. Jared Vanderbilt out there with Wood. Then there's Prince. Then it's Vincent, and it's Dinwiddie in at the shooting guard position. That's the group for the Lakers to start the second quarter. Rushing off the contact well. Duncan Robinson is getting better at scoring while under pressure. And here's Prince outside. Jaquez with the rebound. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. Now here's Richardson. Going inside, and that one is good. Richardson's got his first bucket in this one. They're getting on a roll inside. Their last three field goals have come from the paint. Dinwiddie outside. Back to Vincent. Pass to Wood. Six on the shot clock. A three. Bangs home the trifecta. Wood's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Yeah, the D with very little pressure on their perimeter shooters. Three of the last five baskets they've allowed have been from beyond. And we've heard defensive-minded players, Greg, say, man, everything is a foul nowadays. You can't even touch the guy. You can't defend. And do they have a point? It's getting tough, isn't it? I mean, you can't use your hands. You have to be set. It's almost like they want defenders to be traffic cones. And both free throws, good for Dinwiddie. So for the Heat, their last game, a loss to the Mavericks. Right outside. With the pause in the action, let's show you the teams that were best from the line last season. The Heat in second. Collectively, I mean, they had an amazing year at the free throw line. Sometimes free throw shooting can be contagious. It seemed like everyone on their team had the hot hand. From undrafted to a vital role player, Duncan Robinson has become one of the game's most lethal three-point shooters. Now, here's Dinwiddie. Coming in off a 12-point game, his last outing. The pass to Vanderbilt. Kicks it out to Dinwiddie. That three off the mark. The Heat trail by four. To the wing on the left. There's the triple. Jaquez with the bucket. Jaquez has got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. Really crisp, intelligent passing to make that basket possible. Then when he went the bucket, I thought for sure the defense was going to send that one back. But he somehow got that one up, over the D, and in. 
Prince outside. Inside. And finished off by Wood. Look at the unselfishness by Prince. Doesn't have what he wants. Keeps the ball moving. And when you're on offense, Steve, man, you have got to keep your eye out for Jared Vanderbilt on the other side because he will swoop in and get you. That's where he makes his money, Kevin. He's so good at reaching those long arms in and poking the ball away. You better be alert. Here's Vincent, guarded by Wright. Prince, that's for two. Again, the Lakers. Prince has gotten better at creating his own shot, but the catch-and-shoot game is still his specialty. Wright finds Robinson. The three. It's hauled in by Wood. Lakers leading by five. On its way from Dinwiddie for two. Lakers working the ball around now. To the inside. And stolen by Richardson. To the paint. It's deflected. And so the ball is out of bounds. Richardson touched it last. All right, a moment to check out stats for Wright. How he did last season. He was around seven points a game last year. Four assists and three rebounds. Backup point guard, always an important position, and he fills that role beautifully. Without a good floor conductor coming off the bench, your offense can quickly grow stagnant. He solves that problem well. Kicks it out to Richardson. Good, and it's Bryant picking up the assist. Richardson's got five points so far. Dinwiddie against Robinson. Oh, just solid on the one-handed slam. And guys, when it's a tight ball game like this, he's the guy they want with the ball. Here's Hockey. A three-pointer, no good. Lakers leading by four. Prince, the pass to Vanderbilt. Good work defensively by Richardson. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. And you know, we always talk about this. Just changing the shot can be just as effective as blocking it, even though it's less spectacular. Now here's Wright. Sinks the triple. Wright's got his second basket of the night. The defense is far too slow to close out on those three-point attempts. Passes it to Vanderbilt. And the dunk by Vanderbilt. Sky high. One of his advantages as an undersized four. Pass to Bryant. Let's it go from deep. Man, an aggressive block there by Wood. He's not going to shy away from competing defensively. The kick outside to Butler. Four seconds left. There's the drive. And off in time. And the last second attempt doesn't fall. So that'll be it for the first half. Fairly even battle underway in this one. Lakers lead by three. Thank you, David. And we'll be back after halftime as the third quarter gets underway. Hey, folks, welcome. Man, I'm just looking at these assist totals, man, and they've done a nice job of sharing the rock, man. Unselfish play, man. That's my type of battle. Now taking a closer look. And that about wraps it up. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard yet. The Heat trail by three. On the court for the Heat, the wingman, it's Hero and Butler. Then it's Bam Adebayo. Then there's Terry Rozier. And it's Jovic in at the four-man position. Here's Rozier, and Davis sends it back. Outside, James. It's rebounded by Jovic. And uh, Miami shooting has just been outstanding tonight. 56% as a team in this game. Back to Butler. Pass to Hero. Just five on the clock. Miami needs to get a shot off. 
And Adebayo throws it down. Assistant. Continues to develop as a playmaker. It's nice to see Tyler Hero create for others. And throughout his career, Steve, as we know, Tyler Hero has never been shy of the big moment. He loves it. He thrives in games that are tight at the end. His great off-ball movement allows him to find looks, Kevin. Hero isn't afraid of stepping up with the game on the line. And they start the second half with three straight misses. For the lead, and Adebayo gets it to go on the assist by Butler. And the Heat lead by one. Proving he has the touch from mid-range. Bam Adebayo showing you another dimension of his game. They just don't have it right now. 0 for 4. Must have been one poor speech at halftime. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. It's on D'Angelo Russell. Yeah, way to play in attack mode and get to the line. Miami shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. Both shots good from the strike. L.A. has gone 0-2 from deep to start things here in the second half. From downtown, Billy's the long-range jumper. Russell's got it all tied up now for the Lakers. Finally, now one for five here in the third. We'll see if that boosts their confidence. Adebayo finds Butler. Back to Adebayo. The shot's good on the assist by Butler. Butler's got his third assist on the night. And it's Davis with the ball for the Lakers. Three-pointer. And again, Los Angeles with the triple. Just solid with the jump shot. Hachimura helps your offense in a number of ways. In that case, spacing the floor. Here's Adebayo. And Adebayo throws it down. Guys, close one here. No team getting a huge advantage. Yeah, tooth and nail fight so far, guys. These sides match up really well. That's great offense. LeBron does it over and over again, whether it be for himself or for one of his teammates. And there's the pass to Autobio. Back to Rozier. Good ball movement here by Miami. And Pam Autobio, another three. Adebayo's got 11. This has been a tremendous quarter for him. Everything he puts up now looks like it's going in. Here's Butler. Oh, and the jam by Butler. And good anticipation by Bam. He has a nose for picking up steals. Lakers trail by four. So timeout called here. The first for Los Angeles. And for Jimmy Butler. He's the type of player we know, Steve, that fills in the gaps wherever his team needs it. Kevin, he's often the top scorer, defender, and playmaker for his team. His desire to win is unmatched. Jimmy Butler might be the most overlooked superstar in this league. And we've got a lineup change here for the Lakers. 143 left to play in the third. Dinwiddie kicks to Vanderbilt. Back to Dinwiddie. Here's Vincent, guarded by Wright. Six to shoot. And they're pushing it up. Plays it in off the breakaway. Wright's got the lead up to six now for Miami. Well, they weren't going to pass up that chance to get out and run following the steal. Back to Dinwiddie. Looking to end the run. Robinson pulls it in. The Heat have gone 7-9 from the field to start this second half. Some tremendous shooting from them. And that one's good. Right. Wow. He doesn't make plays like that very often. That's a nice move inside. He takes it in. And yes, it's good. And not being as aggressive from the three-point line anymore. They had a lot more attempts in that first half. Robinson drives in, Bryant, and there's the foul. It'll go on Christian Wood. That is his first foul of the game. You know what? Tried to step in and cut him off, but just didn't get there quick enough. Here's Wright. He's got nine. And out of bounds as the Lakers gain possession. And right now, let's watch that terrific swat. And that block might serve as a spark for this team. We'll see if it can ignite them. There's 42 seconds left in the third. And DeLon Wright gets the whistle that time. 
That's his first foul. First team foul. Prince, that's for two. Robinson pulls it in. Miami leading by six. Right, right side. Outside, Robinson. Over Vincent. Prince grabs the miss. Wow, that's one you just kind of assume is going in. Tough luck. Here's Wood. Rebound by the Heat. Offensively, that's how you want to end the possession, except for the result. Right from outside, and that would have counted, but his uh, shot was off the mark this time. Guys, Bam Adebayo getting it done for Miami. He comes. And I know I speak for all of us when I say I can't wait to see what kind of finish awaits us here in the fourth quarter. So it's the Lakers now at the guard positions. Russell and Reeves down in the block. It's LeBron and Davis. And it's Hachimura in at the three, the small forward. That's the Laker five. And finished off by LeBron. Heads up play on the glass. LeBron getting into perfect position for the putback. And Davis sends it back. Here's Reeves. Pass to Hachimura. Kicks it out to LeBron. Here's Reeves. High post try. A putback. Great positioning on the putback. And the Heat lead by six. And guys, what do you think about the hustle stats here for the Heat? Their activity has been at a constant level. Always around the ball. Quick hands causing a lot of steals. Another place they've had the upper hand tonight is in transition. They've gotten a bunch of their points off the fast break. Here's James. LeBron stops it on. Using outstanding floor awareness there. Russell's ability to pick apart the defense and find the open man. Well, their pass to Autobio. And Autobio throws it down. Yeah, I mean, maybe could have tried for a more memorable dunk than that one. And we know he's capable of those memorable ones. James looking around. The three from Davis. Oh, and he almost had a four-point play right there. He'll go to the line with a chance for three. It's going to be on Bam Adebayo. At the line for Los Angeles. He throw good, Davis. You know, it's so many things AD can do on the floor to help your team win. Good on the second free throw. And he nails the third. Because he knows he makes a living at the line, he invites contact and sometimes even initiates it. The shot by Butler, nobody around. Good on the three-point shot. And coming down the stretch here, both teams still on fire. Yes, and if you love offense, you're loving this matchup. It's been a highlight reel affair. Here's James. Oh, and the jam by LeBron. Add that one to LeBron's highlight reel. How about the creativity in midair? Here's Butler, and oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. Rui Hachimura picks one up. The first one falls. And so Butler nails both of them. We're still waiting for that first miss from the line this half. Hachimura, the screen. Here's Davis. Nice move. Good, and the assist goes to Russell. Russell's got his fifth assist in this one. The defense tried, but then you see the results. AD, an all-star talent, winning out. No one near Rozier as he lets it fly. Drills the three-pointer. Right now, he's being too passive and not looking for a shot enough. He needs to be more aggressive and get more shots up because he's shooting well. And the instincts there from Hachimura notice the overcommitment by the defense and then makes the right pass. Adebayo with a screen for Rozier. Offline with his three. Hard to figure out how he doesn't knock that one down. No defender in sight. Hachimura. And a miss there on the triple. 
okay, when you're trying to make a comeback, you can't be hucking up low percentage threes. You have to find a better shot within the offense. And it's Butler with the jam. So many ways Jimmy Butler can score, and they all are showing up tonight. Here's James, and LeBron throws it down. When you need a big score, you want LeBron to at least touch the ball, and this is why. Rozier finds Adebayo. Here's Jovic, who's guarded by Davis. Left side, Hero. Driving the lane, puts it in off the nasty crossover. And the Heat lead by seven. Oh, Tyler Hero flashing those handles. Now Russell. A three ball. Yes, and it's LeBron picking up the assist. No, he didn't. Be Russell with the savage move there. Game on the line. Butler attacking. It's stolen by Davis. And here we go. Fast break. James has got it. Got it. And then shot brings them to within just one. And such a plus shooter. I mean, he lives with a big shot. And when he's rolling like this, watch out. Driving inside. Russell against Rogier. Here's Olivia. Money. Big time basket at a big time moment. This is why we all watch. The NBA is about these moments. Davis with a screen on Hero. Reeves the pass to Davis to tie it up. It's in! And oh, that was an enormous three-pointer. And the three-point shot really has been their best friend here tonight. He's been huge from deep. That's where he's done most of his damage. And if they need another three, he'll be the guy. Adebayo gets to Rozier. Shot clock at six. Hero passes to Rozier. Misses the tray. Los Angeles calls timeout.
take a closer look at the center position. Well, for the over 60 crowd, this is a fun one, B.A. It's not often that we highlight the center position as being the key matchup, but the big men on these teams, they deserve attention. It's going to be great watching them tonight. All right, now let's check out the starters for the Miami Heat. Hero and Butler make up the perimeter pair. Then it's Terry Rozier. Then it's Bam Adebayo. And it's Jovic in at the four-man spot. So it's Miami now. Following the score by Philadelphia. Adebayo, that's good. Man, bigs like Adebayo got to drain shots to keep the defense honest. Nice to see him working on that part of his game. Lowry. Maxi against Hero. Maxi passes to Embiid. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. It goes on Bam out of bio. I like that. I mean, some physical play inside. He's not about to give up any easy baskets. And Embiid drops them both. It seems you could bring in anybody to this team and pair them with Embiid, and they'd still win, Grant. Oh, they got a solid roster. Mm. But there's no denying that Embiid is the heartbeat of this team. The 76ers go how Embiid goes, kind of like our broadcast with you. And in the last five seasons, they've gone to the playoffs. Here's Lowry, following the bucket by the Heat. Inside, here's Harris. Back to Embiid. Lowry outside. Second chance effort. Yes, and it's Embiid picking up the assist. Yeah, the passing has only gotten better from Embiid. It adds a huge element to his game. Rozier outside. Back to Adebayo. Pass to Hero. Rozier outside. Takes it inside. Yep, count it. These teams have really gone back and forth. <laughs> yeah, five lead changes already. This one's going to be a battle for sure. Harris outside. Embiid passes to Oubre. Back to Embiid. Out to Oubre. Clock at six. Embiid can't hit. The Heat have gone three of three so far from the floor. Pass to Rozier. Now out of bio. Into the lane. Lays it up and banks it in. Adebayo's got his second bucket on the night. Now their offense is rolling. A perfect start. Four of four so far. Outside Maxi. Harris, a screen on Hero. Back to Harris. This one for three. Sinks it from distance. When you look at combo forwards that can help you provide some spacing out there. Harris right now spotting up and hitting. Hero finds Butler. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting. So he'll take two free throws. And what really separates Jimmy Butler as a player is competitive fire, Brent. B.A., you see that wall over there? Go ask Jimmy to run through it. Guess what? He'll do it twice. He'll go through it one way, turn around, and come back. I mean, this guy has got incredible willpower. And when the stakes are highest, he's at his best. Now here's Embiid. 37 points his last time out. Lowry, no good. Butler passes to Rozier. Back to Butler. Here's Jovic. One forty-three left to play in the first quarter. Here's Hero. And he tamps it home with authority. And Hero with the heroic slam. And Maxi's got the ball here for Philadelphia. Trailing by four. Here's Embiid. Right through the D for the layup. Have to take care of the defensive boards better than that. Yeah, you just can't afford to give up second chance opportunities again and again. And finished off by Adebayo. That's everything you want there. Bam Adebayo up there. Vertical, good hands, and the big throwdown. That's good from Embiid on the assist from Maxi. Embiid's got six points. And setting the tempo with an assertive move. Like, where was the defense on that play? Yeah, APB sent out to try to find out where the defense is. Inexcusable. Maxi attacking. Goes up and lays it in nice and easy. And despite the height disadvantage, oh my, 
He just attacks that interior. Yeah, no stopping him on that play. Sometimes even the taller defenders are helpless to stop him. Bam! Finished off by Adebayo. Just a great setup there. You can see how Jimmy Butler enjoys making plays. Maxi finds Lowry. Now here's Embiid from behind the arc. Knocks down the triple. He's got nine. Uh, he's knocking down most everything, guys. Three of four here. The Heat have gotten all eight shots to go. They are red hot. Three seconds separating the shot and game clock. And the shot's good. What vision from Rozier there. Seeing his teammate was wide open and making the right pass. Back to Lowry. Harris outside. Pass to Oubre. Here he goes. Denied by Adebayo. Good defensive play. Adebayo on the inside, helping out his teammates. Bam, Adebayo has been leading the charge for the Heat. And we hope you're enjoying the game. Both teams tonight keeping things pretty even on the scoreboard so far. All right, guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for the Heat? Well, guys, early on, they're driving the lane constantly, using their quickness to gain an advantage. Look at their points off penetration. Well, I want to add also the damage that has been done on the inside. It's, it's a lot of rubble in there, but they're continuing to go right at the defense. Nicholas Batum out there with Kenyon Martin. Then it's Buddy Heald. Then there's DeAnthony Melton. And it's Bamba in at the five. That's the group on the floor for Philadelphia. A chance here to catch up with Ali from the sideline. Joel Embiid talked about setting the tone. He said it's not easy being a leader. I'm not an off the court guy. I'm more reserved. But on the court, I show up. That's the way I like to lead, dominating on the court, offensively, defensively, and try to bring everybody along with me. Brian? He does it well, for sure. Ali, thanks for that. Here's Hakez. Oh, it's blocked by Bamba. Robinson against Heald. Yeah, that one's good. Heald's got five now. Tricky there on that play as Heald had the soft floater. It trickled in. Here's Richardson. And count that. Two points and a chance for one more at the line. Impressive. Their ball movement has been excellent tonight. All right, Grant, I'm going to ask you to put on your executive hat now. Tell us what the key is to establishing culture in an NBA organization. Ooh, B.A. Culture, structured accountability. It's about getting the right group of guys who having strong leadership. And, of course, it only works if the coaches and players fully buy in. And that's the kind of play where I feel like Josh Richardson's feeling more and more comfortable. He gets up big time. I just think that's trouble. You're going you're gonna to let that guy shoot layups. You're asking for it. There's the drive, Bryant. Here's the three. And there's Richards on the assist by Bryant. Richardson's got five points in the quarter. Well, Josh Richardson, a three and D guy, and that three comes first, so he's going to let it rip. For Miami, they've gotten five of their first six attempts to fall in the second. To the middle. Here's Bryant. Count it. All three of his attempts have gone in. And what's working here? Each guy is willing to make the next pass. And here's Wright from the arc. Batum pulls it in. Philadelphia has gone three of five from the perimeter in this game. And Grant, the resiliency and determination of the Heat, not to be underestimated. Well, B.A., last season became just the second eighth seed in NBA history to advance to the finals. And Jimmy Butler said it. We don't care if you pick us to win. We never have. We never will. And it's the Heat with the ball. After the Sixers picked up a basket a moment ago. Here's Bryant. The rebound by Bamba. A lot of defenders choose to just back up off of him when he's in that tight, try to avoid the and one, and this time they're not backing off. Heald passes to Batum. The three. And the 76ers, another three. It took a little bit of time, but now he's taking the pen off the cap and putting his mark on this game. Pass to Hakez. Puts up a three. He's now one for two with that bucket. 
and both teams running long-range plays that are working. Well, both of them looking towards the three-point line, and I like to see that, especially when the results are made buckets. It's healed with the drive, and he goes in for the dunk. Well, healed showing some of that stop and start and stop again game, changing directions, impossible to guard. To the inside. Richardson, that's good. Richardson. Richardson's got his third bucket of the night. And once more this half, they find a way to get great position inside. Healed for three. Right with the board. The Heat have gone 8 of 11 in the second quarter. Richardson goes in to the wing on the left. And it's going to be a three-second call. And here we have last season's best free throw shooting teams. The 76ers, number one. The Heat in second. You know, you really didn't want to send either team to the line if you had any ideas about winning. And it's a completely new group for the 76ers. Butler against Oubre. And there's a three-second violation. And Embiid has got the ball here for the 76ers. Eight-point game. Embiid a screen on Rozier. To the paint. Oh, Embiid punishing the basket. Really just mastery in the pick and roll from Kyle Lowry, per usual, making the correct decision. Eight-second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Adebayo a screen on Harris. Back to Adebayo. Puts the move on. And the layup is up and in. Adebayo's got 11. His playmaking is something to watch. Threading that pass right in there. Pulls up on the wing. And Rozier pulls it down. Well, they shouldn't be giving that shot to anyone. But they certainly shouldn't be giving it to him. That's a big break for the defense. And so it's Miami finishing the quarter with an eight-point lead. Getting lots of great looks, shooting it well. That's why they're up. And don't go far. We'll be right back. And let's hear it for your arena entertainment. You know, they're spreading the defense out with a lot of movement. Uh, that takes patience and that takes teamwork, which is the reason. And let's take a glance. And that is going to do. And we hope you've enjoyed the broadcast thus far. We're halfway through the game. It's been a clinic out there by Bam Adebayo. Through two quarters of play, he's been an excellent source of points. Yeah, he's, he's shouldering the load right now and looking really comfortable while he's doing it. And let's take a look at Miami. Hero and Butler make up the perimeter pair. Then it's Bam Adebayo. Then it's Terry Rozier. And it's Jovic in the power forward. <laughs> A great move. I mean, the defense has no response. Well, just ripping through right there as he finds the open spot and gets right through there. High basketball IQ play. Brent, what a player Kyle Lowry has become. Over 15 years in the league and still going strong. It's amazing how Kyle has done such a remarkable job as being reliable and being available for when it counts the most. I mean, when he's on the floor, there's so many little things that Kyle's able to do to impact winning, and that's where the value really shines through. That free throw's good for Maxi. Well, we always hear about heat culture. How would you define it, Brett? Well, I think what they do is just find guys who are hungry, and then they do a great job of starving you during the year. And what I mean by that is just making it competitive. You're going to earn everything you get if you're a member of the Miami Heat, and that includes playing time. Oubre against Butler. Kicks it to Hero. Butler taking his time here. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Kelly Oubre picks one up. Always one of the hardest workers on his team. Jimmy Butler knows how to win. Butler hits them both. Well, when he gets into a groove at the free throw line, it doesn't just last for tonight. This might be two weeks, two months, something like that. Pass to Embiid. Lowry outside. Back to Embiid. Oh, Embiid imposing his will. 
And now almost all their points coming from the paint. Butler against Oubre. Butler passes to Hero. Miami, no good that time either. Yeah, they're going to try to search out for somebody that's got a hot hand right now. One of four to start the half. And nobody putting out much of an effort to stop them. Surprising in a close game. A lack of energy on defense. On one side, inspiration. On the other, devastation. Butler on the wing. Fires for three. Oh, Jimmy Butler cashing in from distance. Yeah, pretty dependable from the corner three spot. Butler only fires those threes he feels comfortable taking. Philadelphia calls timeout. A line change here for Miami. Here's the group of players who had the most steals in the league last season. Second is Jimmy Butler and, of course, the Anthony Melton. These two struck fear into their opponents last year. Able to force so many steals, they're a problem for opposing offenses. Batum outside. Second half of play here with just under two and a half minutes passed. And Josh Richardson gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul of the game. Batum with a screen on right. Melton passes to Batum. Another shot. Martin outside. There's the triple. And it's Richardson with the rebound. The Heat with the lead. to Hawkins. Batum against Richardson. Here's Hawkins. It's hauled in by the Sixers. Three on three. Healed from outside. And he drains it. A solid five for six now. But he does such a great job of preparing his shot even before he gets the ball. It's right on the wing. Melton covers. Richardson against Batum. Shot clock at five. Hawkes. And again, Miami with a triple. These teams are finding the range, showing a lot of confidence. It seems like they're going to find out who can make the deepest threes. Right now, it's a shootout. Now here's Batum from deep. Melton. And Bryant pulls it down. Melton against Wright. Bryant outside. And then Bryant with the dunk. And Bryant just attacking the rim with a strong finish inside. Here's Heald. And that one goes in as he's fouled. It'll be three points if he converts the free throw. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for the Heat. Well, you love their unselfish play. Keeping that ball moving, good shot to great. That's winning basketball. And there's another thing going on right now for them that has to get their confidence up, and that's the three ball. I mean, it's been falling for them. They're locked in, and that outside shot going, that's a big difference maker. Now here's Richardson. He has seven. There's a screen for three. Robinson drops in the three. And the Heat lead by eight. He drops yet another dive, just facilitating this offense like a maestro. Melton with the ball. Now right defending. That one falls. Batum's got his second basket on the night. Batum knowing how to get to the rack. And it's Robinson penetrating. Richardson with a screen on Martin. Hawkins, the pass to Richardson. Now right, Melton covers. It's stolen. And so it's the Miami Heat leading by six as we wrap up the quarter. The floor. And while we have a chance, let's go to our State Farm assist of the game. You can count on him to deliver a few assists like this one each and every night. Sometimes it happens when the offense is struggling, but... Every now and then, this helps with the offensive uptick right there. Great job of setting his teammate up. Three tense quarters behind us. One more to go. Thanks for being with us as we get ready for the fourth.
And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. I was able to listen in on what Nick Nurse had to say to the team. The coach is thrilled with their three-point shooting, saying in the huddle, guys, let's keep it up. Continue to shoot it from deep. It's working. They've been on fire from distance so far. Good job there, Allie. Thanks. Harrison and Embiid are in the middle. Tyrese Maxey is out there with Kyle Lowry. And it's Oubre in at the three. That's the group on the floor for Philadelphia. Maxey attacking. In close, he hits it. That's just tremendous scoring instinct. So fun to watch him work in the half court. Here's Butler. The rebound by Embiid. Embiid's got his fourth rebound in this one. Here's Maxey. And that comes off the assist by Lowry. Lowry's got assist number five here tonight. Yeah, their defense is starting to wear down. That's three straight buckets at the rim. Adebayo, a screen on Oubre. With some arc. And the layup mm. by Butler. Jimmy Butler has great patience to go along with that strength to operate in the pick and roll. Here's Maxi. And he slams it in one-handed. <laughs> Did you see that? Look at the elevation on that dunk, B.A. Man, he just cocked it back and fired it down with one hand. About a minute and a half through the fourth quarter now. Rogier, the pass to Adebayo. Got an advantage there off the pick and took it right in. How about Adebayo just going right through contact? No reason his first name's Bam. And Harris has got the ball here for Philadelphia. They trail by seven. Here's Embiid. That is now his seventh field goal in ten attempts. Impressive. And he's leading the charge for them. But let's be honest, he needs more help if they're going to get out in front. Yeah, doing anything he can right now to get his team to cut into this lead and give them a chance. Butler finds Hero. Back to Butler. From the strike. The rebound by Lowry. The uh, defense better tighten up on the mid-range there. Much, much tighter. You expect him to make every single one of those. Oubre can't hit. Miami's gotten six of ten three-pointers to drop. Rozier, the pass to Jovic. Fires the three. He buries it from three. And looking to shoot as many threes as possible. This kind of confidence impressive to see. Oubre. And oh, he got his wow. timing down. That's a big-time throw down, and Oubre can really fly. Rozier, the pass to Hero. It's stolen by Oubre. And now the Sixers on the break. Here's Lowry. Finished off the break. And that is why they have Kyle Lowry on the team. These moments, and that is clutch. Butler against Oubre. And it's Butler who slams it down. Oh, Jimmy, that was impressive. Back to Lowry. Pass to Maxi. Denied by Adebayo. Here's Rozier. Outside for Butler. And the Heat. Another three. Their strategy has been pretty simple here in the second half. Attack from three-point range. Maybe trying to find a little bit more space and ball movement to get guys open at the three-point line. Yeah, good things happen when Embiid has the ball in his hands. I mean, this guy can do it all. It's stolen by Oubre. Here we go. The Sixers on the break. Out to Lowry. 116 left in the fourth quarter. And the ball out of play. The Heat will have it. Melton, he's checked in for Philadelphia. 114 left in the final quarter. Rogier against Melton. Rogier, the pass to Hero. Back to Rogier. Drives to the hoop. Banked it in off the glass. And the Heat lead by nine. Finishing the game strong. This is how you shut the door on any hopes of a comeback. Yeah, definitely putting a stamp on this one. A very, very decisive victory for the club tonight. And there's the process at work. Embiid rolls off the pick and right into scoring position. Hero finds Butler. Here's the pick. 
And give him another one. He's six of eight and looking solid. Absolutely ruthless. He's not about to start showing mercy now. Confidence is sensational, and it feels like no one is going to stop him tonight from scoring. And that one's good. Melton. Always fun to look at. Not tremendously efficient, but the floater. Boy, those sure are pretty. Pass to Butler. And here's Adebayo for three. And the Heat, another three. They really came in with the right mindset today. I can guarantee you their flight home will be filled with some smiles. Yeah, when you step into an opposing team's arena and you can play with this type of composure, boy, that food tastes good on the way out of town. Hero with it.
that we've seen in the NBA for many years. Then in consideration, what kind of game can we expect with the grizzled group on the floor? And, and Kevin, these types of games tend to be kind of methodical. Vets aren't afraid to give the ball up for a better look, and we should see a clean game here tonight. Now let's check out our starters for the Los Angeles Lakers. At the guard positions, Russell and Reeves. Down in the block, it's LeBron and Davis. And it's Hachimura in at the three slot. Oubre finds Harris, drops one in from the wing. You know, the mindset Harris has is one that allows him to be ready to shoot as soon as that ball touches his hands. Catch and fire. Reeves the pass to Davis. Here's Reeves. He's covered by Maxey. Pass to James. Shot clock at five. Count it. Good. Terrific read on the part of Russell that time. Scanned the court, spotting the open man, and then whipped it there for an easy bucket. Hard last season, the Lakers making major trades, shaking up the roster, reforming their team. Yeah, you know, Kevin, they had four players left from opening night. That was it. Three major trades bringing in new talent. And that makes it difficult to find cohesion. So give L.A. a lot of credit for making that playoff run. He's become so comfortable from long range. That shot's now a weapon for LeBron. Here's Maxi. Tried to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. Over Harris. Offensive rebound. Boy, he's got to be disappointed in the result there. I mean, the defender really didn't make any impact at all. Oubre kicks to Harris. Lowry against Russell. Lowry can't get it to go. For Los Angeles, they've gone two for four from the field so far today. Davis, the pass to Reeves. To the right side and it goes out, out of bounds out. that one off Harris and a chance to check out Joel Embiid here great showing for him last season tops in scoring seventh in blocks and he also finished the season in the top 10 in rebound it's just a terrific year on the glass and his unmatchable instincts for scoring the basketball that's what made him number one last year you can't stop him and you can't even really contain him here's Harris Following the basket by Anthony Davis. And that one's good, Maxi. The unbridled confidence of Maxi at the arc. You can see it and feel it. He knows how good he is. The three from Davis. And the Lakers get it back. There's Russell with the three. Sinks the three-pointer. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. The 76ers trail by five. And the pass to Oubre. Launches a three. The rebound by James. Lakers have gone 4-7 from the field, shooting over 50%. Here's Russell. And again, it's the Lakers. Oh, great ball movement there. Austin Reed. And it's Lowry with the ball. Brings it up for the Philadelphia 76ers. Harris scored the basket, his second of two attempts. You sometimes forget how sneaky athletic Harris is. Nice job getting all the way to the bucket. In terms of the ideal stretch four, Clark Tobias Harris fits the mold. Yeah, he does so much so well on the court. He's an excellent three-point shooter, helps face the floor. But as a defensive end, he's versatile, he's tough, battles on the glass as well. And I just love his overall game. Now here's MB. He had 37 points last game out. And MB throws it down. Often when MB has a lane, he looks to throw it down. And he's got great speed for a big fella. Some solid defense for Maxi. The 76ers trail by five. To the middle, here's Harris, and slam dunk by Harris. And for a power forward, he can sure get up. I mean, because of that leaping ability, it kind of offsets his height disadvantage. And that one's good by Davis. And the D has gotten a little bit lax here, defending the triple. And he gets it to go. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Well, I agree with you. Four of their last five baskets have been exactly of that variety. Now here's LeBron. He has five. And a wide open look for Hachimura. And again, Los Angeles with a triple. Great three-point shooting here out of the gate. That makes four makes already from long distance. 
Spring music scorching those nets. How long can they keep this up, though? And, and close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. That's on LeBron James. You know, looking to score often from there, Harris is excellent at drawing the defense's attention and fouls. So he gets them both. And what an advantage. You really feel like you can always trust him when he's at the line. The shot and game clock separated by four. Davis kicks to Hachimura. LeBron passes to Reeves. Takes it up with both hands and rips it down. The D just kind of stepping aside and letting him get to the rim. There's a reason, G.A., the lead is what it is right now. You know, you look at it, the communication is lacking, as is the trust. They can ill afford those types of breakdowns. It won't work. You can't win with those kind of breakdowns. And the instincts there from Hachimura. Notice the overcommitment by the defense and then makes the right pass. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers with a six-point lead at the end of the quarter. From beyond... And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. All right, we'll take a look now at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for Los Angeles. You know, right from the start, it seemed they got hot from three-point range, pulling apart the defense and racking up the points, too. And another thing Coach will be thrilled with, the assist numbers, spreading the wealth and creating some offensive opportunities. So for the Lakers right now, Prince out there with Jared Vanderbilt. Then it's Gabe Vincent. Then it's Christian Wood. And it's Dinwiddie in at the two-guard spot. Now the 76ers on the break. Another three for Philadelphia. Love watching Melton run the floor in transition and being rewarded for the effort. Clark, the Sixers proposing to build a new arena by 2031 in the Fashion District area of City Center in Philadelphia. And you know, Kevin, currently all this city's major sports teams play in the sports complex here in South Philly. The Sixers are hoping for their own building in the center of things. The first step of Melton, tremendous. It helps him create the separation on the bounce that he's looking for. Vincent the pass to Wood. Dinwiddie outside. And they get it. Nice to the hoop. And the layup is good. Dinwiddie's got his first bucket of the night. Not much resistance from the defense. Easy play that time for him. Down low. Here's Bamba. And the dunk by Bamba. Nice pass from Melton. Solid job at getting it to his teammates. For the 76ers, the last game, a win against the Detroit Pistons. Wood kicks it out to Prince. Let's it go with the three. Bangs home the trifecta. Defensively, there was a lack of aggressiveness, and it really made it easy for him to knock that shot down. Outside, Batum. Three-pointer. Rebounded by the Lakers rare you'll see him miss such an open look passes to Dinwiddie lets it go from deep and another three for the Lakers you know pretty much anybody can hit that shot when they're that wide open I mean terrible defense now here's Melton he's got eight here's Bamba Christian Wood grabs the rebound Lakers leading by four. Prince kicks to Dinwiddie. And we're now a little over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Can't hit the turnaround jumper. Three-pointer, heel. Good on the triple. Heel's got himself on the board with three there. Well, how long does all of your off-season rest usually last you at the start of the regular season? Like, like when do you start to really feel the games again? You know, the fatigue comes at you fast, Kevin. So that rested feeling only lasts about a couple weeks. Nothing wears you out like playing NBA ball. Clock at four. Vincent, the pass to Vanderbilt. And Bamba pulls it down. And you can see the defender's afraid to kind of get in his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the basket. But on that one, they were there. Lakers have gone 3-7 of seven shooting the ball here in the second quarter. 
that bucket in in no time at all. Prince has got six here in this quarter. And, and I like the fact that he really was unfazed by that scoreless first quarter. And now you can see him getting into a rhythm. And, and you can see he just didn't get squared up with his feet. Those are always tough to judge, but I think the official got that one right. And looking at that replay again, just a big time block right there. And that is a huge block, given how close this game is. A stop like that was right on point. Healed with the bucket. Leave it to heal to respond. A consistent three-point sniper. Vanderbilt, a screen on heel. Dinwiddie wide open. And another three for the Lakers. That's a dozen straight points coming off the triple. You know, they're having free reign from beyond the arc. The defense is just not there. Here's Melton. Another three for Philadelphia. The Lakers in the lead. Here's Vincent. No scoring in this one. Pass to Wood. Here's the three. And it's Melton with the rebound. And here's Melton. He'll bring it up for the Philadelphia 76ers. The Lakers beat them last time when these two teams met in Los Angeles. Yeah, and looking back at their last game against this club, they were badly out-rebound. Yeah, and that turned the tide, the rebounding differential. They got to focus and make it a team effort to really pound the glass. And Philadelphia will go for a different look here. Embiid, he's checked in for Bamba. Harris comes in for Nicholas Batum. Oubre is checked in for Martin. And Kyle Lowry subbed in for DeAnthony Melton. Embiid stiff-arming that shot with authority. No mercy. And it's Davis finishing it off. We've seen the lead change hands quite a bit in this one. And guys, I think each team knows they can win this game. Just a matter who can catch that momentum. Oubre outside with the drive. Hachimura grabs the miss. That's a surprise. I mean, really out of character for him to miss when the defense is not right up on him. And it's Davis missing. Oubre for three. And that shot was up in time, but doesn't go in. And that's it for the first half of action. What's been a very close game here. Lakers lead by one. Live from Philadelphia, you're watching 2K Sports. Welcome, one and all. Before we now check, you once said that all the real big men are extinct because you killed them off. That would be a correct. Well, as we check out the results of the first half of the Lakers, it's been neck and neck. Being a trunk slammer ain't easy. Hostile. And that'll do it for half. And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during the half. The 76ers trail. And Greg, while the Sixers have been a fact time and again, they've been unable to get past the conference semifinals. Where they bowed out in five of the last six years. But you go back, they haven't made it any further since Allen Iverson led them to the finals back in 01. The pairing up front is Harris and MB. Maxi out there with Lowry, and it's Oubre in at the three. That's Nick Nurse's five as we get into the second half. The drive by Lowry. No good there. Nice D from Russell. The Lakers shooting so far, very efficient. All around, about 55%. Wasted no time on that one. Hachimura's got eight. Just solid with the jump shot. Hachimura helps your offense in a number of ways. In that case, spacing the floor. Here is the 2K leaderboard with the list of last season's top three-point shooters. If on the list, Tyrese Maxey. The bucket must have looked three feet wide to him last year. I mean, very deserving in terms of that spot among the league leaders from three. Lowry looking around for three. Harris. It energizes everybody when LeBron is locked in like this on the defensive end. Merciless inside. Merciless James. He's somebody that's really comfortable carrying the offensive load. 
Maxi attacking and slam dunk by Maxi. And he shows us all what the breakaway rim was invented for. Can you believe he almost brought the whole thing down by hanging on that long? Boy, that was a great dunk. And we've got a great game here. Davis with the bucket. When your big man can pop out and knock down the corner three, it certainly opens up the whole offense. Harris kicks to Embiid. Embiid sets the pick for Harris. And he drives in and slam dunk by Harris. And one step ahead of the defense with that solid screen. And then Greg, the monster dunk to finish it off. Boy, picture perfect teamwork that time, guys. One guy sacrificing for the other. That's how you succeed in this league. Kicks it out to James. Russell against Lowry. The three. And again, it's the Lakers from deep. And perimeter scoring, I have to imagine it was a topic of discussion at halftime. Certainly. I mean, they saw a weakness in the perimeter defense and took advantage of it. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And, Greg, we still see players embellishing contact. Is enough being done to discourage those creative flourishing? We're talking about flopping, right? I mean, we're seeing the league experiment assessing a technical free throw. It's necessary, or guys will keep jerking their heads and falling down, and, and who wants to see that? Davis with a screen on low. Russell dishes to Davis. No good on the triple. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. That's his first personal foul. You know, one of the things you really appreciate about Maxi is how freely he plays. He just throws himself in there, fearless about looking for ways to get involved in the play and then make an impact. And the 76ers call time here. In addition to going over the game plan and making whatever necessary adjustments have to be made, Greg, this time out also the time for players to get rehydrated or hydrate for the first time with some Gatorade. Plenty of basketball still to be played here, and they have to get recharged. That's a great point. Without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of a, of a game, and that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have got to be hydrated. And Batum throwing it down with ease. Here's Vincent. He's guarded by Melton. Wood with the bucket. And that assist got him a little nod from his teammate after that one. The 76ers trail by three. Melton passes to Batum. And Nicholas Batum with the slam. Boy, and for his size, Nick Batum has really good ball handling skills. Bamba against Wood. Here's Vanderbilt. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. It's on Nicholas Batum. Yeah, way to play in attack mode and get to the line. And you know the defense gets their money's worth on that foul. Stopping the layup and not giving up the and one. And it's Batum with the ball, bringing it up for the 76 They trail by three. Boy, I tell you, Bamba's wingspan and his standing reach is ridiculous. This dude was born to throw it down. Fires from deep. It's good from long range. Dinwiddie's got 11 points. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. It's hard for me to watch this. I mean, the defense practically giving them those shots. And those plays can make a difference in a game like this. <laughs> well, you know it's going to fire up, Greg, everybody on that bench. Making a statement for sure. I mean, we'll see if they can maintain that aggressive approach, guys. Bamba kicks to Melton. And the three ball is good. 16 points for him. I'll tell you what, he has been feeling it, guys. And the best game plan right now, it's elementary. Let's keep feeding him. Let him eat. Wood a screen on heel. Pass to Wood. Back to Dinwiddie. 16 feet away. Here's Vincent. He's guarded by Melton. Dinwiddie's shot is off. 
And the rebound battle split evenly thus far. Yeah, tit for tat on the glass. Just one more aspect of what's been a very closely contested ball game here. Yeah, he, he's shown terrific control of the pace and the rhythm of this offense. You know, numbers don't always tell the story, guys, but his assist totals do paint the picture here. I mean, he's got everybody involved. Well, it's been an exciting game. Plenty of... We've reached the fourth quarter, and what has been a very competitive game should be an exciting finish. Lakers trail by four, and on the court for the Lakers to start the fourth. Back in the block, it's LeBron and Davis. At the guard positions, Russell and Reeves, and it's Hachimura in at the three, the small forward. Back to Lowry. It's stolen by Hachimura, and it's the Lakers on the break. From the arc, Reeves can't hit. The 76ers shooting impressively throughout at 62%. Lowry dishes to Embiid. He kicks it to Harris. Lowry drives in. Banked in off the glass. Lowry's got the lead up to four now for the 76ers. They're doing a really good job of getting the ball inside and attacking the paint. That's an area they have completely dominated. Well, once they recognized the advantage they had inside, it made a lot of sense just to continue to attack that area. Yeah, he, there was definitely some contact there on the three-point attempt. You have to avoid fouls like that. As a defender, challenge the three-point shooter, but run by him. Not into him. And the 76ers making a change here. Elton's checked in. Guys, it's always good to see a young player start to mature in front of our eyes. And Russell has been that kind of guy. He's done a great job figuring out how to become a better leader. And it's sent back by Russell. Here's Reeves. Good. And it's Russell picking up the assist. Russell's got four assists now tonight. And a chance now to catch up on some numbers with the hustle stats for the Lakers. They've been so aggressive getting out on shooters all game long. Nothing's getting past this defense. And that, to me, has been impressive. And I'll tell you, the energy they've shown in the open floor, boy, it has been terrific. Doing a phenomenal job converting in those situations. You know, it's the muscle and size of MB that allow him to score through contact. How about Joel Embiid? A high-risk, high-reward pick turns into a superstar. Yeah, that's well said, Greg. I mean, he sat out two years before even seeing the NBA court. Sustained a foot injury before being drafted. Persevered through that. And is now one of the most dominant big men and players in the game. There is some defense for you. For someone who's as good at shooting the three ball as he is, you, you need a defender who's equally good at guarding against them. Over to the wing. LeBron with a screen on Maxi. Reeves the pass to Russell. From the baseline. And too long on the shot. 76ers have gone two of four from the field since we started the final quarter of play. Elton kicks to Maxi. And Bede sets the pick for Maxi. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. And the 76ers lead by one. And this is the effort you want to see out of your guys. Win or lose. Yeah, you know what? I agree. I mean, they're showing a bunch of fortitude here, keeping this game tight. Drains it from beyond the arc. He's such a clutch shooter. He just lives for the big shot. Driving to the basket. Gets it to go. That one good for Melton. Boy, you can tell Melton is having fun out there, playing with a lot of joy. Taking and making shots like this, putting a smile on his face. Here's the pass to James. Davis with a screen on Harris. Passes it to Hachimura. An intentional foul committed, but for what purpose, Greg? I'm not sure. A scene of confusion right there. Uh -huh. I can't imagine why he thought it was a good idea to foul there. Here's Reeves trying to get open as Hachimura. Just focusing on the task at hand, that's all you can do. Yeah, these teams trading punches right now. I mean, it's table tennis. Back and forth we go. Oubre finds Maxi. This one for three. Hands it from downtown. 
Maxie's got 10 points here in the second half. So great seeing Maxie come through in the big spots, continuing to evolve right before our eyes. LeBron wishes to Davis. Pass to Russell. James sets the screen for Russell. Inside. James Crowbars it in. LeBron James is clutch. Not the first time he's done that, nor will it be the last. Maxie, no good. And so it's Hachimura who brings up the ball for L.A. It's a one-point game to the inside. Here's Davis to the paint. Money! And you can't get a bigger bucket than that. Well, that was one, too. He wanted the ball. Nobody else was taking that shot. Maxie passes to Harris. That's a big-time bucket from Harris. I mean, so cool confident and composed in these big moments he's made for it. LeBron against Harris and so they choose to intentionally foul and no good is the first free throw missing for him we'll see if he can end the second and LeBron has been in these spots a clutch performer from the line Timeout called the 76ers. They're behind by one. There's 25 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Some changes for Philadelphia. Hamid Bamba, he's checked in for Harris. Buddy Heald comes in for Oubre, and it's Payne in for DeAnthony Melton. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Alden. David. Kevin, I was able to listen in on what Nick Nurse told his team, and they told the team, we're winning this game with our defense. All we need is a couple of stops. Keep your focus. We'll see if they can close it out. Kevin. Okay, David, much appreciated. It's the first, and that will put them up by two. And so both free throws are good. And it's a three-point game. Absolutely massive free throw. That'll force them into a three-point attempt. And Philadelphia calls time here. They trail by three. We've got 13 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. What do you think, guys? And if you can get a three, shoot it. Otherwise, get the quick two and a foul. Either way, they got to score the ball. We've got 13 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Now James. And here is Hatchimura. And so it's the Lakers.
First one of the year. You know, as a former player, you know firsthand that there's so much anticipation and hard work that goes into making it to opening day. So everyone right now is on a level playing field, and the dream is still alive. And the Lakers starting five. D'Lo and Reeves are the backcourt duo. It's LeBron at power forward with AD as the center. And it's Achimura in at the three. What vision from Rozier there. Seeing his teammate was wide open and making the right pass. Davis finds James. Russell up top. Over Rozier. Here's Davis. Pass to Reeves. Shoots over Hero. The shot by Reeves, no good. And he's very confident from that range. But he can't make him off. Out of bio with it. Checked by Davis. And out of bounds, the Lakers will take it. It's out of bio. High post. And that's good. His first bucket of the game. The moment Bam gets the ball close in, he's really hard to stop. Here's James. And slam dunk by James. Nice ball movement there. Delivered the pass right on time. Hero, the pass to Adebayo. Hero outside. Pass to Jovic. Back to Hero. Shot clock at six. With the drive. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. He saw the lane, and he drew the whistle. Hero banging through. Now at the line, Tyler Hero. And that one falls for Hero. Both good from the line that time. For a star like him, you get lots of opportunities at the line, and he's great at cashing them in. Down low. The shot by Russell, no good. How did he break that one? He smoked it. Everything was set up for that to be an easy basket. And a clear foul there. as he's... And they're not happy with the call here. Coach has given the signal. He's going to use his challenge. Probably a good idea in such a close contest. And even with the coach's challenge in place, we've seen so many of these personal foul calls still disputed, even in free throw. A lot of these calls but at least we have the option to take a second look so the officials can be sure they get it right the ruling on the floor is confirmed and they've made their decision the call will stand and as much as it hurts to lose a challenge i think coach would challenge that call again if he could he really disagreed with the foul and he's still peeved and a look here at the scoring trend over the last several months for Rui Achimura. He's been on a tear offensively these past few months, and you know how much they love the extra points he provides. He's been shouldering a bigger load recently, and I think he's just getting started. He hits the second from the line. He is so talented. There's very little Russell can't do. It's just about the consistency, but the talent is all there. And it's Rozier with the ball for the Heat. They trail by three. Butler passes to Hero. Puts one up from 19. Second chance shot. Adebayo finds Butler. Five on the clock. And the foul on Anthony Davis. That'll be a second foul of the game. And picking up that second foul early is tough. He'll have to be careful, and we'll see how much Coach trusts him to not get that third. Here's Butler in his last outing with 12 points. Controls the rebound and the putback. From role player to all-star, Autobio has made the leap. Why? Effort plays like that. Here's Reeves. That shot's good. Russell making the play. Russell's got three assists now in this one. Starting to find his rhythm. He's cooking, and he knows it. Yeah, when he gets engaged this early in the game, it's bad news for the defense. He can roll this start throughout the rest of the game. Here's Davis, and Davis slams it home.
It's so hard trying to keep Davis off the glass. He's just so big, so strong, and has the athleticism. Rozier against Russell. Back to Rozier. Pass to Butler. Capitalizes off the crossover. Yeah, an assertive move there by Butler. Shaking off his defender and finding the bucket. Now here's Davis. No one near him. And the Lakers tack on two more. I know what they say. Defense wins championships. But you need some bucket getters too now. Hero outside. Here's Jovic. Checked by James. Here's Adebayo. And Miami again with the bucket. And now almost all their points coming from the paint. Pass to Russell. Here's Davis. Crafty move. And finished off by Davis. What do you want? Agility, he's got it. Height, he's got it. Davis has every advantage on this play. Defenses just can't effectively counter him. Here's Adebayo. And Adebayo slams it in. <laughs> they keep trading punches. Both teams in a groove early. You have to think at this point the winner will be the one to settle in on defense. Hey, showing a good handle. An area where Hachimura continues to make strides. He was grabbing the rim to extend the hang time. Hey, maybe making sure the landing was kinder than the takeoff. Which one on the clock? He can't get it to go. Well, it's been a high-scoring, competitive game through the first quarter of play. The Lakers on top, leading by... And this has been a fairly close game through the first quarter. We'll see what happens here in the second. And a look now at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Lakers. The ball movement has been outstanding so far. They've come out of the gate looking for that extra pass. Another thing that's gone well for them is the mid-range jumper. <laughs> it's been falling with ease so far. Delon Wright is out there with Duncan Robinson. Then it's Thomas Bryant. Then there's Josh Richardson. And it's Haquez in at the three. So that's who Miami starts the second with. Pass to Bryant. And then Bryant with the dunk. <laughs> and plays like that one can make the difference in a close game. And it definitely got the bench on their feet, too. And you can feel the jolt of energy that he sent through his team. That is a huge boost in a tight game like this. Right up top. Here's Haquez. Oh, my. Came close to a four-point play. He'll head to the line for three free throws. First hey, nice work attracting the foul from deep. He'll shoot three. Well, the saying is defense wins championships. But in this day and age, don't you need both? No question, B.A., you definitely do. I mean, we've seen plenty of great defenses flame out in the playoffs because they couldn't put up points. Defense alone isn't enough. You need a balance of both. Haquez, the pass to Bryant. Here's Haquez. Pass to right. There's a screen. Let's it go from the wing. The Heat rebound. For three, Robinson. Wood grabs the board. And for Los Angeles, they're shooting almost 70% from the floor. Sensational. Look at Wood finding ways to contribute. Sees an open man and drops a dime. Launches it. Fires in the triple. Haquez has got six points. When he gets a quality look like this at the perimeter, he can almost be automatic. Wood outside. Left side, Vanderbilt. And we're about two minutes into the second quarter here. Hey, hangs it midair and converts the double clutch layup. Vanderbilt's got his second bucket on the night. Miami has gone one of two from deep in the second quarter. Right attacking. And he makes no mistake. Slam dunk. What a finish. I mean, he just took over himself. What a show of power right there from the point guard. Man, sweet. A point guard getting up like that? Boy, that is special. That scoreless first quarter, that might have woke him up, and he's turned it on here in the second. Bryant with the bucket. Trading the lead back and forth, 
neither side is willing to back down. I've been on the edge of my seat courtside. Man, this has been a barn burner. Denwitty gets the bucket. They just look so overwhelmed inside. You know, that's why they continue to get attacked. And hey, stolen by Vanderbilt. Oh, got a piece of it. Pass to Jaquez. Takes the three. And the Heat, another three. All right, guys, what's your take on the hustle stats for Miami? From the very start of this game, they have been giving the ball handlers trouble, using good pressure to force turnovers and get steals. And something else I've noticed is how they've been able to cause turnovers and take advantage of them on the offensive end, not wasting those extra chances at all. Something that impresses with Spencer Dinwiddie, Richard, is his adaptability. A player who is ready for any challenge or any situation. Part of what makes him so great is just his sheer confidence. Dinwiddie believes in his own ability to get it done out there, B.A. Vincent, and the lamp is good off the glass. Defensively, they've got to get more bodies in the paint. That's three straight field goals from below the free throw line. Robinson can't hit. The Lakers have gone eight for nine here in the second. Prince on the attack. Oh, a rim-rattling two-handed jam. I just love the aggressive finish. I'm thinking he's sending a strong message with that jam. The Lakers in the lead. Pass to Wood. Back to Prince. Takes a three. Oh, drew the foul and almost hit the three-point bucket. But he'll head to the line for three. It's going to be on Thomas Bryant, and he's good on the first of three. Torian Prince, following the act of shooting a three-pointer. Good on the second one. Free throws. The last one's off. They'll settle for two. He wasn't quite as assertive as he needed to be in the first quarter, but now he's taking a more head-on approach and getting himself to the line. Seems like this offense is being executed the way it was designed. Yeah, I'm sure Coach couldn't be happier with the results. Boom! He jams it straight down. What a finish. I mean, he just took over himself. What a show of power right there from the point guard. Man, sweet. A point guard getting up like that? Boy, that is special. Miami has gone two of six from distance here in the second quarter. Three seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Pass to Bryant. Count it. All three of his attempts have gone in. Yeah, he was able to sneak it to the rim. Had enough room to get just like an easy layup. Then when he goes in, and it's thrown down hard with both hands. When guys are moving the ball, sharing it, it makes the game so much more fun, both as a player and as a fan. Here's Robinson on the take. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Robinson's got his first two points of the night. Here's Vincent. He knocks it down, but wait a minute. The officials getting together here. They may want to review this one. And hold up. We're not going to halftime just yet. The officials signaling that they are going to take a look at it. The previous play is under the lead. In this game, so you want to make sure the right call was made. The ruling on the floor is confirmed. And the ruling is in. The call stands. No bucket. Thank you, Allie. Good stuff. We will be right back after this break for the beginning of the third quarter. 24. The Lakers. 44. Well, right now for the Heat. At this point, you got to take every team you're up against as a test. Asking yourself, what can we do? And taking a look back now at the first half of play, the Lakers find themselves in a tight one. Hard to win if you allow your point. Thanks as always. And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, this second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams trying to gain an edge. And it's Rozier with the ball for the Miami Heat. And so in the game for Los Angeles, it's LeBron at power forward with AD as the center. D'Lo and Reeves are the backcourt duo. And it's Achimura in at the three. 
Hero on the take. And the shot goes down. And the Heat lead by two. Their offense is really humming right now, and it's because of the beautiful ball distribution. Here's Russell. That one off the back iron and out. Oh, man, he can't get anything to fall. You can feel his frustration. Yeah, <laughs> right now, he's just in his own head. Not much you can do to try and push through it. These teams just keep trading the lead. <laughs> yeah, you wonder what it's going to take for someone to pull away. Rogier, the pass to Butler. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. It's going to be on Anthony Davis. Playing with passion. Butler is never scared of a challenge. A wing who battles inside. Here's James. Russell, double team. Pass to James. That shot's good. Russell making the play. Russell's got six assists here tonight. Rozier, the pass to Butler. Oh, Butler getting aggressive. And this is where Butler wants to attack you. Ground zero. Stolen by Hero. Rozier against Russell. Inside. Kicks it to Hero. Fires from deep. And so the ball out of bounds. Hero touched it last. And a quick check now on the teams that led the league from the charity stripe a year ago. Second, the Heat. They took pride in their success at the line and it forced opposing defenses to be very careful against them. Here's James. And slam dunk by James. Oh my God, LeBron James, what's that, that, that power? Do you just feel the rim shake? Pass to Jovic. Back to Adebayo. Outside Butler. Wing shot on the way. And again, it's Miami converting. For a center, Adebayo is an excellent passer. He's always so aware of his surroundings. On the wing, Reeves. Give him eight. He gets it in there. Reeves has got ten points in the game. Okay, so they've looked energized and focused starting this half. Coming out of the break, making four out of their first five. The deep three from Hero. From outside, off the mark. Los Angeles has gone two for two from deep here on the third. Reeves, the pass to Russell. Here's Reeves. He's got ten. Pass to Davis. Six to shoot. Now to Achimura. Reeves, the pass to Achimura. Again, the Lakers score. Yeah, these teams are playing with incredible energy. Yeah, the second half in stark contrast with the first. Coach must have gotten on them a little bit at halftime. Yeah, that one's good. Jovic. Yeah, a versatile player. Hero is terrific at sensing when his guys are open. Here's Reeves. Offensive rebound. Here's Davis. And finished off by Davis. <laughs> and when the game is this close, you have to go all out. He certainly understands his role, huh? When the shot goes up, just crashes the offensive glass. He's just giving them everything he has. It's why his teammates appreciate and enjoy playing with him. Hero for three. Rebound by the Lakers. I'd like to see him a bit more efficient. He has not been great this quarter. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. And it's a completely new group for the Lakers. Los Angeles has gone three of six from deep so far. Here's Denwitty driving to the basket. And he drains it. A solid five for six now. Adjustments are a part of every game and every quarter of a game. I think Coach sees something here. Yeah, this is a good opportunity to get your group together and make sure everyone is on the same page. So Miami ends up going with a new group. The Heat have gotten four of seven shots to drop in the third. Right, the pass to Richardson. Again, the Heat misses. The Lakers have gotten seven of their nine shots to fall. Quality shooting in the second half. Foul beyond the arc, and he almost hit the shot. He'll go to the line for three. 
right, a look at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for the Lakers. Oh, look, they're getting good looks inside. It's been a point of emphasis all night long, but I love this hard-nosed attitude of this team. And we can't forget about how ferocious they've been cutting to the rim, just going right at defenders and finding ways to finish. Miami's gone just one of five from three-point range here in the third quarter. Bryant with it. Now Vanderbilt defending. 19-footer. It's hauled in by Robinson. Miami trailing. Down low. And they're pushing it up. Ooh, bouncy. That should give them a nice lift. Good timing. They needed that one. And they need more where that came from. They're not out of this hole yet. Got it. Dinwiddie's got four points in the quarter. And force feeding the ball inside. I mean, no reason to go away from what's working. Shot and game clock separated by five. Pass to Wood. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Heat. The Heat have gone five for nine from the floor in the third quarter. Right on the right side. Robinson passes to Richardson. Here's Jaquez. Guarded by Vanderbilt. And that one is stuffed right through. Oh, yeah. That'll do it. Wow, an emphatic two-handed slam. The first free throw is good. Shooting for Los Angeles. Spencer Dinwiddie. It's both from the stripe. Five ticks left in the third quarter. Here's Bryant. Oh, an amazing finish with a hand right in his face. Bryant's got eight. That's a blue collar bucket right there. Grown man basket. Put it in the work. Got a second chance to score. And All right, let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. And I'll tell you what, this was a no-brainer tonight. Take a look at the precision on this feed. Couldn't place it any better. You've got to admire the vision just as much as the accuracy. Not many players can even spot that pass. Well, this has been a great contest so far. I imagine the fourth quarter could have more action in store for us. They've got Duncan Robinson, Josh Richardson out there with Thomas Bryant. Then it's Delon Wright, and it's Jaquez in at the three, the small forward. That's the group in the game for the Heat. Richardson finds Bryant. Three-pointer. Tipped. Now here's Dinwiddie. The three is up. Pass to Vanderbilt. Up and over Richardson. And Vanderbilt gets it to go. On the assist by Wood. And the Lakers lead by eight. There is a lot of skill to Wood's games. Great pass, unselfish play. Back to Bryant. Let's go with a three. Rebound, the Lakers. Now Dinwiddie. Pass to Wood. Beyond the arc. And it's Richardson with the rebound. Miami has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Over to the left wing. Now Bryant. Right outside. He shoots. This is the jumper. And that's a low percentage shot. And I'm sure he knows it. And those are the type of shots that just drive coaches crazy. Look, I wouldn't be shocked to see him sitting on the bench if he tries that bad boy again. Pass to Vincent. Second shot opportunity. And that one drops. This has been the story of the game. A battle fought on offense. Yeah, but I think it's going to come down to who can get the stops down the stretch because that's who's going to come away with this one. It's stolen. Here we go. And here's Dinwiddie from the arc. And it's Richardson with the rebound. The Heat have gone 0 for 3 in this fourth. Not good. Just under two and a half minutes gone by now in the final quarter. 
Marquez no good. They've had a slight leg up on the boards and a big leg up on the scoreboard. Drops in the three. And when it comes to the three, they've been really dialed in here in the second half. Time called here. Miami decides to talk it over. All right, let's check in with Allie LaForce. Over that last break, I got a chance to hear what Eric Spolster said to the team. Coach was seething about the turnovers. He said, I love everything we're doing but the turnovers. They're killing us. Let's clean up that before it sinks us. As always, Allie, we thank you. And for the Heat, they're shooting a terrific 58% from the floor. Rozier, the pass to Adebayo. Back to Rozier. Pass to Butler. And he drains it. A solid five for six now. Just about three minutes through the fourth and final quarter here. And here's Achimura. Back to James. LeBron James with the flush. Woo! He, he just levitated in the air, double pump, and then slammed it home. How about the D right there? They just got out of the way. They let him choose what kind of move he wanted to make. Jovic passes to Hero. Davis against Adebayo. Just five to shoot. Butler goes at the rim. It goes again. His sixth basket in seven tries. And Butler was a raw offensive prospect early on. Now he's a wrecking ball on this end. A minute 29 left in the fourth. Rozier against Russell. Jovic passes to Rozier. That three's off the mark. Good job by the D to stay with him and make that a tough three. And down it goes. Dunked it through off a beautiful setup. Well, with a comeback out of range, we can put a bow on this one. Good performance for the Lakers. I was really impressed with their attitude today, Graham. Competitive game. They battled through every step of the way. And B.A., can you say big-time effort and energy? <laughs> I mean, just a tremendous performance. They were well-deserving of this win. And so this win marks their first victory of the new year. Well, at least they're going to take one game in this season series. It was an uphill climb. James with the ball. Now guarded by Rozier. <laughs> So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Look, you can't even blame the defense that much. The dude's just a freight train. He's impossible to stop. Alive for the Lakers, LeBron James. Both free throws good from James. And it's Miami's ball. Trailing by 17. The drive by Butler. And it's Butler with the jam. Oh, a fearless finish from a fearless player. Jimmy making some noise. Davis hits. This is what winning is all about. Playing your best when it matters most. And let me tell you, as a team, you love to hit your stride right at the crucial moments. They put this game away in style. Jovic passes to Adebayo. Rozier with it. Hero for three. Gets the three to fall. Yeah, absolutely no hesitation from Hero. He shoots at will from range. Russell with the ball. So we see the Lakers taking the W here.